Hi guys, DNEO here, and we are back with another Marvel game, Midnight Suns. Heroes, strap yourselves in. Villains, develop your diabolical plans, because holy shit, we are finally playing this game. I'm going to take a few minutes to explain why I picked this game. Not just because it's a Marvel game. There are a lot of reasons. One, in my opinion, this is the true successor to Ultimate Alliance. And if you've been around the channel for a hot minute, uh, you'll know that the kind of top person that inspired me to start all this, all this YouTube journey was Captain Dave and one of the first things I saw on his channel was Ultimate Alliance so it's kind of a little throwback to that also I get to play another Marvel game which is amazing on the channel also uh, Matthew Mercer uh, voice acting um, I love Critical Role guys <laughs> So this game scratches so many itches for me, it's kind of insane. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I know the channel's a bit chaotic at the moment. Take Midnight Suns as the brand new main walkthrough on the channel. Playthrough, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't care. I'm pumped, I'm hyped to play this game. Holy shit. I'm doing it. We're finally doing it. And, um, yeah, just uh, a quick little thing. I did already play it off camera uh, a while ago now. I've had this game for a hot minute. Um, but... Uh, I did want to play through it because I know these games can really throw some tricky curveballs. And I knew that there was different mechanics in this game. Um, so I did play it uh, off camera to test it. And then it just drew me in. I, I wasn't supposed to complete the game off camera and I just couldn't help it. I just couldn't help it but play. <laughs> so... This is going to be interesting. Very, very interesting. Now, how's the music levels for you guys? Is it good? Is it bad? Because I can turn it down on my headset. How is it for you guys? Um, let me know. Uh, well, is, is it good for you? Because otherwise, I'll kind of turn things down. Um, and if not, then, you know, we'll, we'll just carry on. But, um, so, it's fine. Okay, awesome. Brilliant. Right. <laughs> Why did I just so, like, I just got very nervous about getting into this game. Now, I'm going to be doing new game, just standard new game. I've never done a new game plus. If this goes well, much like I did with the original Spider-Man, if I do this game again, then I'll do a new game plus. Um, but, um, for now, um, we're going to just go into a new game. Um, now, okay, so, uh, okay, here's the thing with all this. You can see I haven't unlocked any other difficulties. What do we want to see, guys? Do we want to see normal and... It's going to get frustrating. The game's going to kick my ass. Captain Dave continued adventures. Um, oh man, I wish he came back. 
I like he oh god I don't uh, look I respect the guy so much I don't know him personally on any sort of more personal level than anybody else on his channel but it's definitely a person that I would never want to say anything that you know for whatever bizarre reason he ever came and watched my stuff but um yeah I I, I I don't know um I wish he would come back but I also hope that he's also you know he's doing his thing and I hope that he's happy with it most of all um what do we want to do guys I'm not I'm putting this in the hands of you guys story okay all right we're doing it guys um I'm gonna leave everything on because obviously you guys haven't seen this game if you can do me a favor guys and I don't usually do this but I I really want to push this series I really really want to push this game because I don't think enough people have heard about this game please like please share on everything like everything please this will be Mondays 6 p.m. UK time on the channel and we're going to be going through this game um, so Please, guys, please, please, please give this game a push. As much as, yes, I'm doing this for me on the channel. Oh, boy, I'm doing this for so many other reasons. Also, DLC questions, because I know it will come up. I've only got one of them. I've only got one of them. And you guys will see when we get to that bit, because I don't want to spoil that. Will I get more? If I do this again, or maybe, I'm just, just, I'm just saying, if I do kind of a round two with this game on Patreon, then I'll possibly get more DLCs. But anyway, anyway, that's, for now, we're just gonna enjoy the game, we're just gonna go through it. Oh god, okay, pray, pray to all the Thanosers. Pray to all the Galactic Conquests. Pray, pray to all the Marvel Gods. Here we go, guys. Ah! <laughs> oh, God. If you guys can't tell, I'm a bit excited about doing this game. If you guys can't tell. <laughs> Hello, Crossbones. Yes. Oh, boy. You know how much I hate this hocus pocus nonsense, Faustus. Now you want to tell me just what the hell is so important? <laughs> Sleeping mother, sacred harbinger, awaken and reclaim what is yours. You who rise with the moon in darkness. Who prepares the path for the midnight sun. Ooh, here we go. The eyes upon us. And the rise. Nice hey, I'd see Clyde that thick. Next time, call Zemo. Better yet, I'll just shoot you and save us all the trouble. Oh boy. Oh boy.
such a good intro. Oh boy. Oh. Uh, I. You know what? If Captain Dave ever does come back, I hope he comes back with this game. Because holy shit. <laughs> I can feel it, Rox. Trouble in the air. More innocent blood joining you soon. Head back to your magic castle. You ain't welcome here. <laughs> Doesn't like you either. <laughs> uh. It's called a sanctum. And welcome or not, this is where fate has determined the Sorcerer Supreme needs to be. <laughs> oh, I love this. Tell fate answers no. This is the secret guardian you dragged me 5,000 miles to meet? Who's the mouth? Mr. Stark is brash, but I assure you, he can be trusted. Wait, you seriously don't know who I am? The fabric of magic is shifting, Johnny. Oh, boy. The prophecy of the Midnight Sun is upon us. Your last crusade cost me plenty. This time, I intend to look after my own. Hey, pal, I don't think you understand. Things are changing. Two plus two no longer equals four. Up is sometimes down, and strange here is actually starting to make sense. Do I yeah. look like someone that's... who gives a damn about any of that? No, I look to like be you should worried be about. bouncing for the double deuce. Listen, all I know is Hell's coming, and my pal here says you can help. That's where you're wrong. Hell's not coming. It's already here. You're welcome. Oh, oh. oh boy! Let's go! Man. Supposedly famous. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's okay. It's fine. I know what he meant. Okay. And the old man runs off with that precious page of yours. Uh, at least left us some VIP passes for the carnival. Maybe blown up a few monsters on the way out. Johnny Blaze has sacrificed a great deal for this world already. I am certain he will come around given time. Thought you said time was the one thing we didn't have. Uh, all right, let's just wrap this up. I got that sand in my nanopolymer weave. <laughs> okay. There are three main types of cards. No, 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 wolf, wolf, no, no, because I did that. No, I promise you no. No, it's it's not what you're thinking because I did that. No. And I wonder if that's why people haven't given this game a go. It, the nobody. There are three main types of cards which represent hero abilities, attack skills, and heroics. Playing a card costs one card play. Any factor with cards unless it's... Uh, I can't see that little... Ah! I can't... Ah, the damn heart thing's in the way. Unless it's poker. No. Nobody. No, 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 no. Um. Okay. So. Uh, use attack cards to damage enemies and gain heroism. Attack cards uh, damage enemies, of course. All attacks grant one heroism when used. Some attacks have added effects like knockback or stun. Uh, so, we haven't got much choice here. You're, you're about to see why this game is different. Sure, why not? Hey, it worked, didn't it? This shouldn't take long. Woohoo! <laughs> Go get him, Iron Man. Am I really gonna have to bring out the big guns for this? Okay. Heroic cards are powerful and decisive. Playing heroic cards requires heroism. Tip. 
Da-da-da-da-doll. I mean, as much as I appreciate the reference, buddy, I mean, look, if it means you're gonna enjoy this series, then sure. I th we'll send them to the Shadow Realm, which, I mean, kind of not inaccurate for this game, funny enough. Um, requires heroism. Uh, gain heroism by plan. Yeah, okay. So. This should be good. Hee <laughs> hee! You just got knocked the fuck high, you know the rest. <laughs> <laughs> oh, once you've played your cards, use down uh, to finish your turn. Oh boy! Oh, oh, okay. Oh my god. So, who wants to go first? Okay. The two types of enemies minions and elites. Minions have no health, any damage defeats them instantly. They are frail, but still dangerous. Elites have higher health totals and require more damage to defeat. Um, that suit may be yeah. a marvel of technology, but it's no match for the mystic arts. Um, also, it's a contest now. Then you take the extra creepy one. No, 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 I did. No, you, you stop that, sir. No, bad wolf. <laughs> okay. Ah, crap. Ah, ah. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to skip both of that. I just, I got scared. I'd hit the wrong button. Okay. So, not back. It's still turn-based combat, buddy. Stranger things have happened. I just, no, you. Oh my god, whoa. Well. I know that wasn't your signature move. Okay, uh, so we have no more cards. So one survives. That's cool. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, I thought we were finished. Alright. Okay, um. At the start of each turn, hero icons will appear above each enemy, showing who uh, that enemy intends to attack. Use this information to determine which enemies to defeat first, or which heroes to defend. In this case, Doctor Strange is in danger. See what you can do to assist him. Uh, shuffle the deck then. Uh, I mean... Protective? Well, I could give you a hand. Or a shield in this case. In the spirit of cooperation, I mean... I'll accept your offer. Just this once. Uh, don't mention it. Okay, so... Uh, we can't actually... Okay, that's... Okay, um... Give 20 block to an ally. Use skill cards to control battle and gain heroism. Uh, skills provide powerful supplement effects like healing, damage boost, and drawing cards. And a few other things, honestly. Skills do not generally deal damage. Skills are a great, great way to build heroism for powerful attacks. Okay, so, um, like yep, we're going to do that. I won't forget this. So... Uh, Doctor Strange now has shields, which is amazing. Uh, oh my god, whoa. Are you, are you just referencing all, like, I... Sir, sir. I do, I do not appreciate your sass, sir. So there we go. Your dire. I mean, at least you're having fun, dude. But no, th this is this is not just another card game. I promise you. Not that there's anything wrong with card games, but 
I I understood your size, but I think we pissed them off. Interesting spell to change the very demeanor of our enemies. Something along the lines of the psionic manipulations of Eros of Titan. Can't make it happen in the next. To make this as miserable as possible for you. All right, Tony, show them what you got. What do? Uh, my lawyers tell me I'm not liable for any evil-related injuries. <laughs> I mean, I I, sh I should think not. To be fair. Um. Yeah. Go. All right. To be pretty. Hello, Kathleen. Hello. Hi. Oh my god, Wolf, can you not? Hello. Uh, many objects on the battlefield can be used to your advantage with environment attacks. Environment attacks cast Harrison, but do not use a card play. That's very important. Uh, these three attacks are very useful. Use them wisely. Yeah. Um. Maybe we should just try throwing a big rock at him. No, no. I feel I feel like I'm about to get virtually slapped, guys. Kathleen. Brooks. I. Um. I feel trapped, guys. It's a trap. Battle. I feel. I. Cut. I. No. I'm not good with names. I'm better with faces. I gotta be completely honest. So I. I. I do. I. I think that's the last of them, which is good. I might have told Pepper I... to stepping outside the restaurant to have a quick call. I fit. Oh. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I feel really bad. Okay, there we go. If I'm being honest, that encounter went. Better than I expected. Tony, I've been no oh! Oh shit! So this is why Hello, Mrs. Wolf. Well, that's why I did him. Fucking no. On the, what? the collective works of the universe's greatest sorcerers, and he left them underneath. I'm so sorry. Names. That's why I didn't know. Hello, welcome in. Importance. You don't say. You okay, kid? It's complicated. Always yes. is with Scarlet Witch. Let's uh, put a pin in that. Oh. Really flicking, flacking, powerful. Yeah, there we go. Carol. We're gonna go with that. and I have been trying to reach you. He'd have come himself, but he's. Oh, you did the big green guy proud. I apologize for that. I really should up my homeowner's insurance. Hey Hydra! Yes, yeah, hail Hydra. Awards of protection, if you please. Stephen, I can fight. I've got control now. Then show me by activating the wards. In the meantime, in honor of our missing companion, the rest of you may feel free to smash away. Oh, we we were we we were gonna do that anyway. Things are moving right along. Didn't uh, nice one, Carol. Did, Always the direct approach. They did uh didn't need your permission for that Besides, one. We picked up some crazy. Yeah. Yes, and that explains the hydra goons and ominous green lights. I mean. I yes, feel like, yeah, if if food. you're a superhero, right, then, we hero you know, after we take down um, guys? yeah, I fit, yeah, yeah. So that's how that works. 
Okay, so. Uh, use redraw to replace undesirable cards in your hand. Highlight a card to redraw, then hold the square to replace it with a new one. The new card is random, but it may be more immediately useful. Okay, so we are going to redraw. Uh, it's tutorial. We, we we don't really have a choice, guys. I gotta be completely honest. Um, and I kind of uh, um, I'm gonna go for this one, and here's why. There's no way this medical plan can cover the beating we're about to put on you. Oh, I thought I could throw fi- Oh no, no, I thought I could throw things. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. There we go. There we go, guys. There we go. There we go. All right. Woo. Okay. Sure. Just keep throwing bodies at the problem. Let's not waste any more time. Use moves to reposter heroes and set up a perfect knockback angle. Uh, okay. So, this is where this uh, card game is different, guys. Um, very different, in fact. Okay, so I can't do it that way, so that's fine. Uh, up to five cards will be drawn to fill your hand at the start of each turn. Consider which cards to play and which cards to redraw or keep for future turns. Right. So... Um... Um, draw for last two attacks play. Start with, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. Yeah. So, essentially, like, yes, card game, but also a lot of chaining together. Um, and that is very important, uh, as we, uh, as we go on. Um, uh, can I not move you? Uh, wait, why can I not... Uh, okay, hold up, hold up. Um, okay, I'm gonna do that. Blast you into next week. Um, and then we're gonna redraw, because we don't need two jabs. So there we go. Um, I might just buy the loyalty with, uh, with a card called Change of Heart. What? A... Really? Confidence is high. Oh dear. How do these guys just keep showing up. They are surprisingly relentless. In any event, we must provide Wanda the time she needs to activate the wards of protection. Oh dear lord. Okay, so we're gonna do a big attack here and get rid of a lot of them there. Uh, double your current heroism. Well, that doesn't help us, but it may help us in the future. 
Um, okay, that's not going to help us. Uh, that's not going to help us. So I'm just going to do a, a little uh, a little jabby jab. That's just uh, just uh, a little a little jabby jabs. Um. Well, I'm glad you two are enjoying. Uh, and no, we're not going to be able to do any damage. So, I'm just going to play that. Double our heroism. And uh, then we shall end the turn. Captain Marvel. High five, guys. Yeah, I... Look... Look, when I saw she was in this game, you know, I I had feelings about it. That's all I'm saying. Um, because of when it came out. But, but, they don't fall into those traps. Um, I hope you learned your lesson. Which is amazing to see. Genuinely amazing. Um, and I'm so glad they just made a game for the fans. The wards. Something's blocking them. Not something. Someone. Say hello to the big bad, ladies and gents. Lilith, mother of demons, harbinger of the midnight sun. Prophecy or not, you overstep, challenging the sorcerer supreme. Be silent. <laughs> You're all about to get your box ball. Oh, you remind me of my own beloved. In virtue, Devi Shanti. Well done, Miss Maximoff. Your unique energy surprised her. Whoa. I just. <laughs> what? I'm sorry. The prophecy is in motion. I was gonna say something, I'm not gonna say it. Stronger each second the midnight sun approaches. Define stronger. If we are to have any chance of stopping her, there is only one option left to us. I won't go back there. We all must eventually face our demons, Miss Maximoff. However, one of us should remain behind to maintain the wards of protection. See you on the other side. Oh, wonder. Ah, wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> okay, you did that one on purpose. The fabric of magic is unwinding. We are fortunate to be here at all. And where is here exactly? Salem, Massachusetts. Well, a pocket dimension in Salem, Massachusetts. Oh, suburbs. Nice. <laughs> Welcome to the oh, the writing's Home so the good with this game. game. And there's my favorite character. What the hell is this? Lilith's Junior Demon League? Wait, it's that jerk from TV. Hello, Nico. Oh, I love Nico now, so much. Will just take a moment. Enough. You're standing on my flowers. Oh, it's been a long time, Sarah. It's caretaker now. If I could have avoided this moment, I would, but... Oh, spare me the speech. 
I know Lily's back. <laughs> we are sisters after all. <laughs> Guess we're suddenly invisible now. The Shall we chat, Stephen? No one can argue that the hunter earned their rest in the first battle against Lilith. I only hope they are up for the task once more. You wizards always make everything sound so lofty. I raised my sister's only child as a weapon against her. And saved the world in the process. Now you want me to dig them up and ask them to do it again. I did not write the prophecy, Sarah. Besides, I am no common grave robber. We are simply reuniting their ethereal essence with their corporal form. Speaking of, it would help to have a mental image for the procedure. Spare no detail. Spiritual identity theft is no laughing matter. Okay, guys. So, for this walkthrough, I'm going to be picking male. The only reason why I'm picking male is because... Matthew Mercer voices the male, and I just, oh, I just, I hear his voice, and I'm like, mm, yes, so I have to, I'm sorry, if I replay this game, which, let's be honest, with how hype I've already got in the first, like, half an hour of this game, um, I'm probably gonna do a female version as well. Um, so, okay guys, so this is where we get to make our character. Um, now, uh, so this is the trouble, and I need your guys' help with this. Okay, do I make me in the game, or do I just kind of make a look that I like? Because the first time I played this, I couldn't help but try and make a Matthew Mercer. Because I knew that he voice acted the male character. So, do I try and make me? Or do I try and just make a... Whatever. Well, what am I doing, guys? Ah! D d no. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 not, not of that. Thank you very much. So, the, the, those are your two options. There is no third option. <laughs> well, there, there is no third option. Highlight the. Oh, my lot. Okay, okay. Um. I don't know, I guess... I guess I'll just see. Um... Okay, now... That, that, no! You... Oh my god, you two in my stream together are gonna be murder. I can already see it. So... There is also another thing with this game. There's customization later on. So there's a few details that I'm not, like, strictly, like, really worried about. Oh, my Lord. Um, strictly, like, really worried about. Because um, pretty much everything you can customize, like, later. So, um... Um... Uh... Yeah. I'm gonna go with that. Um... And I'm just gonna do... Yeah, I'm just going to do that. 
Um, yeah, and we're just going to keep it. Um, and... Yeah, that's kind of like me. Kind of. Yeah, I'm going to go with that. Okay, so... And again, like, this may all change down the line, guys, so... Uh, well, it will. I'm just going to tell you guys straight up, it will. I'm not... I'm not sure about the her, guys. Um... Sure, I'll go with that for now, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that would kind of make sense with the story and all that, so. Um, yeah. Okay. Child of light and darkness. You who came the night. Hear the voice of those who beseech the end! The caller! Wait! Wait! Ah! There's my girl! There's Nico! Oh, I love Nico so much! Oh my god! She... Oh. That's a good thing, right? I'm going to be using a lot of Nico. I'm just pre-warning you guys right now. So, deal with it. <laughs> Where is she? As far as resurrection spells are concerned, I've seen worse. Particularly on myself. Tony, come on. It's perfectly safe. That thing wakes up and takes a bite out of you. Don't blame me. Visiting hours are over. Can't stay here forever. There's nowhere else I should be. Just saw that Stark guy poking around behind the mirror table. Find me as soon as they awaken. And Blade. Be nice. Always am. The, the, yeah, Blade, you, you're not really known for being nice, buddy. I, I'm just, I'm just saying. You, you know, just, yeah. Oh, I love this story. Oh my god. I can't believe I'm actually playing this for so you guys. Cold. But the air burns with every breath. Has it been so long? I know this place. In my dreams, it was always empty. Yeah. But now I sense I am not alone. Have to admit, Hunter, you make one hell of an entrance. Guess that makes two of us. You should have struck when you had the chance, vampire. Bravo, Wolf. You will not Bravo. live to regret your error. That's all I'm saying. See, and Caretaker told me to be nice. Relax, Slayer. I'm a friend. You just don't know it yet. Yes. I saw you with Sarah before. But what would she want with a vampire? Unless... The name's Blade, and I'm no ordinary vampire. I get you've been out of commission, 
But I thought you noticed since we're having this little showdown under the freaking sun. A damn pier. Daywalkers were a myth, even to me. Says the half human, half demon monster hunter. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. You appear quite versed in my history, Dampier. Heard my fair share of stories from Caretaker. The legendary hunter. Child of Lilith. Last champion of the blood. Some call you angel, some demon. Probably a little of both. Led the Knights of Wondergore against the armies of darkness until you fell at... Fell? Shoot. This is why they don't normally have me do the meet and greets. I can see why. <coughs> right. As much as I'd love to see how much weirder this conversation can go, we should probably get moving. Agreed. The prophecy is in motion. I can feel it. We have wasted too much time here already. Man, the others are really gonna love you. Others? Yeah, you've got a little fan club, I think. But why spoil the surprise? Hope you're up for the challenge, chosen one. The All right. Let's uh let's get this party going, shall we? Hold up. Did I miss something or did Nico just raise the dead? I definitely helped, but no, that's the one thing I can't do. You were never able to raise the dead. Huh? But she just did. Maybe the hunter wasn't all dead. Some part of them had to be alive, otherwise my spell wouldn't have done anything. Which makes sense, I guess. <laughs> Sounds like a reach to me. Huh, coming from a vampire who loves to sunbathe at the pool. I, I mean, vampire. I, I mean, Half dead hunter. Either way, wouldn't count it, on that working again. Yes, we know. Just trying to help. How? By keeping an eye on things out here while the big wigs decide the fate of the world inside? Someone has to babysit the kitty table. Babysitting or not, you realize they still have you out here with the kitties, right? Oof, ouch. Yes, hello. Alright, let's speak to Nico. Hunter. Not sure if you remember me, but we met briefly before. I'm... The witch who called me back from the grave. Told you. Or Nico, but neither works. And this is... Robbie Ray is. <laughs> oh man, never thought I'd be standing next to you. Got quite a rep. I mean, caretakers told us. Stories. That's Ileana. Privet. And I think you already met Blade. <laughs> of course. Caretaker has reformed the Midnight Suns. Whoa. How did you... Your power. I can feel it. I always do. Oh! His voice. So, welcome home. I guess we... I never left. Right. Well, we can fast forward through the tour then. The Abbey is still, well, you know, the Abbey. Basic stuff. Uh, Dorms, all right, war well. room, library, a few places to chill, and uh, whatever the hell the forge is. I have to say, for a haunted transient castle raised on the cursed grounds of Old Salem, it's pretty cozy. Yeah, it is. Of course, that doesn't stop us from adding some improvements. We can all thank Robbie for the Wi-Fi. Catch you later, buddy. Take oh, it and easy. One more thing. We've got some new house guests now. You think we're a fun bunch? Just wait until you meet them. Speaking of, we're here. Yeah. Okay. Spend ten minutes in this place alone, Bruce. Then see. Oh, gotta <clears throat> go. Just again. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. Much less that sort of 
training regime. You'll have to trust that the hunter's past experience is enough. Ah. Uh, you following me, Doc? Maybe. You oh, I can't believe I'm doing this game. All right. I... Prophecies be damned. It's good to see that face again. You look like it was yesterday. And you look older. How long was I in that crypt, Sarah? No more than a few centuries. You were... missed. Centuries? And what of Lilith? Fallen by your hand. Until now. <clears throat> yeah, so speaking of Lilith... Tony? What? The kid's literally speaking of Lilith. Tony? <laughs> That's <my name. coughs> That's, uh, Carol and Dr. Spooky over there. Here to help. Help with what, exactly? Oh, I don't know. Throwing the magic amulet into the volcano? Smiting the dragon mother? You tell us, kid. You are the chosen one, after all. Do you recall anything of that last encounter, child? There was... a voice. The rest is hazy. Oh, a voice. That's it? A voice? That's what we have to go on? Results it of your long crypt sleep, most likely. A minor inconvenience. Everything required to restore those memories is contained within my sanctum. I will simply alert Wanda to prepare the necessary rituals. Straight to voicemail? Some sorcerer supreme. Must be <laughs> mystical interference caused by this little pocket dimension of yours. Perhaps Agatha can help. Allow me. A lot of... Oh, oh boy. What network you running there? The all-seeing eye of Ereshkigal who judges. Bound to enchanted Babylonian soul glass. We just call it the mirror table. Wanda! Dark force, pushing against the wards. Stephen, where are you? That's impossible. Nothing on Earth could possibly affect those wards. Wanda's in trouble. Wanda Someone is has. Trouble. I'll go. You'll need my help, of course. Then let us make haste, Dr. Spooky. Our hunt begins <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. Time to, time to get into this, guys. Taking a big risk with your chosen one. You act as if I'm thrilled with the situation. If you're concerned, then be all the more vigilant out there. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. Okay, so you our team is pre-selected here, is easy, but that won't always be yeah, uh, be the case. So, even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Are you ready? The prophecy of the midnight sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the dark hold. If she forced her way into my sanctum sanctorum once, I suspect she can. Oh boy! Again. You are a sorcerer supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language or? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. <laughs> For the first time, a Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Um... Uh... Okay. Your Sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed. The Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Lay storms, a few short-tempered Celestials, that issue with the Zoning Commission. But this time, 
It feels different. I do not doubt Wanda's capability, but without my predictive acumen, I cannot bolster the wards should she need it. Still, the wards are woven into the Sanctum's very essence. They should hold. <laughs> In any case, yep. all will be revealed with time. I yep. suggest we make use of it while it still functions. Uh, just to let you guys know as well, while you're wandering around, the characters do talk well, in the background, the uh, such as Doctor but Strange is very true. kindly demonstrating now. Sometimes I'll stop by so then you guys can hear, other times not so much. So, about time. Because otherwise we never get time. anywhere with this Mr. game. Brooks, time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet, as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several <laughs> times. <laughs> Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is. Not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Here we go, guys! Well, this isn't really even our um, first proper mission, actually. So, any more questions? Nope. <laughs> Be being able to do that sort of shit. That You're nope. You're standing in limbo. Nexus of all realities, both real or otherwise. A chaotic but secret realm beyond the influence of Lilith. The far. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General Hellho vibe? Yes. All these it's... potentialities converging at once? A truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. Uh. You think this is crazy? Wait until you see Manhattan. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, that's yeah for someone who's from here. Magic can open gateways you know, to just about anywhere on Not our used planet. to cities or whatever. We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. <laughs> Couldn't be worse than the last time. All right, let's get into it. <laughs> well, at least we know the wards of protection are still in place. Well, I did, man. Yeah. For now. I suggest <laughs> we hurry. Um, yeah, about that. Arm Alpha in position. Not your average hy Hydra goon. No one's getting through. Welcome to New York. <laughs> Alright, let's do this.
Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. I hesitate to call this good news. But I'm seeing minimal hydro resistance between you and the Sanctum. Okay. Looks can be deceiving, um, I'm afraid. There's no way these foot soldiers are behind the disruption of the wards of protection. Alright. Let's get two of them out of the way. Leave some for the rest of us. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's uh, let's show what Blade can do here. So each hero um, obviously has different abilities um, and such. Um, and uh, different ways to uh, to play them. Um I'm gonna, yeah. Time to bleed. I'm gonna do this. I am impressed. So you can see the blade has stuff like um, life steal. Let's uh, get our character in there. All right, we still got one more we can play. I'm gonna... Uh, yep, yeah, I'm gonna do that. There we go. Big chunk of damage to the big dude. And can we... Anything to activate? Uh, not really. Uh, okay. We serve until the end. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay, this is okay. Uh, oh, I rather you have not done that. In your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Um. Ha. Um. Okay. Yeah. Let's do that. Weak, even for Hydra. Then let's do that. So we'll power up our cards a little bit. Um. And let's... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm glad to have your magic on our side, Doctor. Um... And... Uh... No, I'm just gonna end my turn, actually. <coughs> I don't want to waste the heal. As Stop going for Doctor Strange! God damn it, guys! Um, right. Yep. There we go. There we go. as they are, remember, Hydra is still human, Hunter, not Lilin. You were saying Cut. the lifeblood of the Mother pumps through our veins. The Mother is eternal. Hydra is eternal. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, 
boy. We're in trouble. <laughs> yeah. The association is not going to like this. No. I'll handle it. Or <laughs> not? Do not be a young man, little wizard. We have answered the mother's call. We. To all who oppose her. And you are lunch. We are Venom and you are lunch. Oh boy. Ho ho ho. Okay. Okay. Defeat Fallen Venom to complete the mission. Fallen Venom's symbiote binds can be broken by attacking them with hero abilities. Uh, powerful enemies like Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack and may attack multiple times on their turn. Watch well, out. Escalated quickly. Um, I want to know what that beast is. Yeah. It calls itself Venom. Um, Until now, a pale imitation of a very heroic young friend of mine. We will feed your ugly um, to the spiders. Alright. Okay. Alright. So Yes. No mercy Let's try and do a little. bit of chip damage to it. Um and that way we're also, um, we're also, uh, we're, um, taking out the, uh, minions. Um, okay. Yep. Let's do it. Younger to you? Uh, not really, buddy. Uh, okay. Mother tells us to hurry. Yeah, I'm sure she does, I think. Oh boy. Okay, that's. Oh god. Yeah. Oh god. Okay. Oh boy. Yeah. What? The, wow. Okay. Um we'll have to deal with a few more, I'm afraid. Uh Yeah. Okay, so yeah, basically um belongs to mother. As you belong to us. We shall start with your juicy entrance. Then slowly um, see your delicious brain. Are the rest of your mother's children so chatty? Okay, let's do this. Okay. Now, what I'm hoping. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's. That's, uh. That's the main thing, actually. Okay, so we're gonna free um, these fanatics are always free them up, which is good because uh, we want all our characters in play. Um, I'm also gonna. Oh, we thought we could only play one card though. 
Um, I wonder if we can... Ah, uh, okay. Right, I'm gonna heal up Doctor Strange then. Or Doctor Spooky. Greatly appreciated. Um uh, Um I'm gonna redraw that. <clears throat> you are within our reach. Uh-huh. Oh, Ben! Calm the f Oh god! Okay. Yeah, I bet. What are you made of? You, you don't wanna know, buddy. Just take it from me. Yeah, yeah, don't wanna know. Okay, um... We may not be ready for this thing yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Yes. Surrender. Be eaten. Fill our belly with your tasty fear. Alright, I'm gonna do this. Because then, uh, Venom is stunned. Um, we get a level up, which is good with our Hunter. Uh, they will not act on the turn. Uh, we will... Uh, they will be reawakened. Yeah, so now we're going to deal with the, um, I guess the minions, um, while we've got the time, um, which is awesome. Um, and then we're going to do that. Time's up for these jumps. Um, and uh, I ah, it's kind of a waste, but also not. So, uh, interesting tactic. Um, and I'm just gonna do that when the block turn. Um, there we go. Then we eat. All of you there will be uh, no dying here, Venom. Thank you very They're much. Not quite ready to give up just yet. Mother, bless us. Um, our attacks Mother, will go up at the end of the turn. Use moves on ability. To move. Okay, and yeah. So this this meat. is death zone, basically. If Lilith was a vegetarian. Um, that's, that's what that is at this moment. Uh, yep. Move them out of the way. Um. And, uh, Blade. Okay, where do you want to go, buddy? Um. You know what? I may just yeah, Let's go go over there, buddy. Okay, so we're completely out of the thing now. I'm gonna redraw one of those. Um Yep, and I'm gonna do that. Let's power up. We've got this turn to power up, um, so I might as well. Uh, yep, I'm going to use that on my spell. Um, Let us see if they have an answer for this. And then we'll just end the turn. We will crack your tiny bones. Uh huh. Uh huh. Of course you will. Bearable. If only he would stop talking. <laughs> I mean, you know, villains with the monologue, man. Your friends cannot help you. Uh, what do you say? But your brains shall be ours. 
No, you th there will be wrecked. no eating of any sort. No. Stop it. <laughs> um, you know what? Seeing that we've got two of those. I'm going to do that. Get rid of the minion. You're lucky to still be breathing. Um, and then... Well, actually... Uh, no, that's not going to do anything. So, yeah, I'll just do a, a quick uh, slash here. There we go. Bleeding's pretty cool, so... So, yeah. Can't break free! Only thing stronger than its fists is its breath. <laughs> Uh, doing the job there, which is very nice, very nice indeed. Uh, to be honest. No escape from me, demon. Hold up, we don't know what we're dealing with yet. Thank you to everyone that's popping in. I appreciate it. Neighborly Spiderly. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. You know, being friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but... Whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, uh, oh, boy. and your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll be uh seeing you later, Webhead, down the line. Do not worry. <laughs> oh boy. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. <coughs> this is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall... I killed the bastard. And all it cost was a village. It, uh, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. <laughs> You've been through a lot. For now, Ooh. it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. Oh, boy. We'll talk oh. more later. Get some rest. Oh, I love this game. I oh my god, I love this game so goddamn much.
Um, I I feel like th this is gonna be a game that's like whether it's content or just on my own that I'm gonna keep coming back to time and time again because oh I just oh okay okay right so this is our map um this is the um i'd say the building where main of our activities are going to be taking place um so th this is where at least like out of combat and stuff while we're while we're um here at the abbey um so not yeah. to be the nagging old lady, but I told you not to push too hard. <laughs> yeah. Um. That was a complete fiasco. And it would have been far worse had Spider-Man not arrived when he did. Uh. Yeah. Yes, one disaster averted. But we still need to figure out how to get Wanda and the Sanctum back. I kind of, I kind of get it, but also like I've been asleep for millennia. Like, what do you want from me? Anyway, let's uh, let's speak to Toby. Okay, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing what 70, 80 pounds of chainmail. On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid six out of ten. Don't worry, you'll get there with a little help. <laughs> Where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. <laughs> oh, I just... So, oh. here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here. Other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. Um. <laughs> but I do not have a quill. Even better. <laughs> Relax, Tony. I simply jest. It is an ink derived of the spider lily flower. Red spider lily flowers. Of course it was. Obviously. With just a touch of Manphibian blood for power. Haha! -ha, another zinger. And we'll just leave it at that. Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. I love Tony in, like, this version of Tony in this game. It's amazing. Okay. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. <laughs> okay. Superlink is your connection to the rest of your team. A social network just for superheroes. Check Superlink frequently for updates from other heroes in the 
Abby. Okay. Uh, first pose. I d <laughs> okay. First we make Wanda leave. Now we leave her to die. Some heroes. Oh, man. That's... Yeah, that's... That's rough. Um... Oh, man. What do you mean? We've had super links for a month now. We use it every day. I meant first post that the hunter sees. Ha <laughs> ha! Um, Robbie, you can't keep doing this when someone new joins super link. Yes, I can. He means he will throw your spark in the look. <laughs> he wouldn't do that. Right, Blade? <laughs> right, Blade? Fine. Last time. <laughs> oh, oh god. Okay. Um, I assure you that is not the case. She was sent to you for your protection. I see how that worked. Supreme Sorcerer. Yeah. We both know it's more complicated than that. Miss Rasputin, I took Wanda as my apprentice for a reason. Have faith she can handle herself. Strange did everything he... Oh, sorry. Strange did everything he could to get to Wanda. So did I. And the hunter. Take a breath, Eloniana. We'll get her back soon enough. Wanda should be here with us. Uh, of that, I am in agreement. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, she should. Oh, okay. There was the wardrobe room for my armor in this thing. So, essentially, this is cosmetics throughout the game, uh, and we will unlock them as we go, um, basically. So th these are cosmetics. Um, as far as I'm aware, anyway, all cosmetics are free in game. Like, you just buy them and, like, like this. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but, so, we'll get, we'll get a new one. Why not? Um, and, uh, yeah, faded journal page. Um, sorry guys. Uh, Aunt Sarah wants me to practice my letters, so here I am. But every time I dip this pen in ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid the her Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad, and uh, sad for them. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Um, okay, uh, and uh, painting. Yes, okay. We were all so happy then. Mm, uh, not sure that's faces of happiness. I gotta be honest, but there we go. Right. And sleep is basically how you end the day, basically. So that's uh, that's what uh, that is. past 300 years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. 
not just her. I suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made Let's the ultimate aside. sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I am sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. Foreshadowing much? Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. We'll talk hmm. more later, but for now, Stark has requested your presence in the forge. I think he has another present for you. Okay. What you doing, Charlie? <laughs> Okay, uh, let's just uh, go in here a sec. Yeah, so we can customize our character and and all of that. And um, honestly, I think I kind of got the skin tone wrong. Um, but yeah. Uh, so all, all of this you can like throughout the game as well you will unlock things um, but obviously we'll kind of get around to all that uh, later on let's uh, go Next to the forge the sanctum is airborne and covered in slime I don't get it strange couldn't just magic his way in something about the whole alien thing threw off his mojo that explains so much. No wonder he gets so strange around me. See what I did there? <laughs> uh... Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all <coughs> makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, Fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of. Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps. <laughs> You should just try it on. And we will unlock more um, as the game goes on. Still think it could have used a cloak. <laughs> no cut! Anyway, um, hooray to anybody that got that reference. No clocks. Uh, anyway, right. Let's. Uh, I did. No clocks. Um, let's. Uh, let's speak to uh, Doctor uh, Strange here. 
Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates <coughs> compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? Um... Uh, yeah. Physically, I'm fine. However, I do feel some... Grogginess, a tinge of nausea, sense of memory loss upon time of passing, water your itchy eyes, common side effects when one is pulled back into the light. Believe me, I know. Yeah. If any other symptoms arise, you can always tell me. Particularly if you develop a craving for brains. I have a cream for that. I d of In course you do. Event, I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired. The sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost. Swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Um. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Um, don't blame yourself. Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was is my charge my responsibility and i failed her but i am determined not to let that happen with you hunter which is why i am here to answer any questions you may have perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far um okay so let's just go through these a creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. My mother has a gift for bringing out the worst in people. Yes, and in this case, I happen to be the direct victim of her ambition. I fear the Sanctum may never be the same. Um... Tell me about your Sanctum's wards of protection. I have never heard of a protection spell that powerful. In your time, I'm sure you encountered a variety of minor wards and protective spells. The Sanctum Sanctorum was shielded by one such incantation, but greatly amplified by the convergence of ley lines. Okay. Uh, and no one has ever broken the spell? Ever? There's always a first for everything, but I had honestly never imagined a scenario in which the wards could be broken. Perhaps it was arrogance on my part, but Lilith is among the more cunning enemies we've ever faced. How did Wanda come into your care? Wanda's story is quite tragic and perhaps not mine to tell. There was an accident on the Abbey grounds not long ago involving Agatha. Must have been some accident. 
Agatha had been teaching Wanda, hoping she would learn to control her immense but very raw power. As their training progressed, Wanda was encouraged to push herself further. Eventually, she pushed too far. Oh, oh no! No, 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 no! Um, how did Wanda come into one? They... Okay, there we go. Um, let's ask about Agatha. I feel like everyone is avoiding mention of Agatha. I can't say I'm surprised, but I'm afraid it's really not my place. You should speak to Sarah about her when you're ready. Uh, let us All talk right. later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's, uh, hunter. let's talk to Tony. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? Um... <laughs> Yeah. Tell me about this demon. Why is it there? Well, you would probably know more about that than me. I'm still working on a way to keep track of everything that goes bump in the night around here. <laughs> Whatever they've got trapped down there. It's hotter than hell by a few thousand Kelvin, very pissed off, and really good at weaving synthetic microblends. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them, too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so... Ask away, Hunter. Okay. Um. Yeah. I take it this new version is a technological marvel? Impact-resistant carbon composites, some patent-pending alloy mesh, and a few touches from Dr. Spooky over there. And hey, the built-in communicator means we can talk to each other without sending a raven. Um. Yeah. So it is a marvel then? Lightweight, nearly indestructible, and modular enough for future upgrades. Frankly, I wouldn't have used your old suit to wax the Mandarin's car. <laughs> oh, I love all the references. Oh my lord. Is all this magic a threat to your new technology? It might surprise some people to hear this, but I do like some things with rules. Isotope decay, magnetic fields, and gamma oscillation make a lot more sense to me than Eye of Newt, bat wings, and a sprinkle of sunshine. At least they did before everything changed. I cannot help but feel partially responsible. Why well, wouldn't take it personally? We were detecting changes in both magic and science months before you woke up. But yeah, things have definitely hit high gear since then. Hmm. Seen anything strange around here? <laughs> what, other than my roommate? Boom! Roasted! But on a more serious note, this place is legitimately haunted. Mirrors look back at you. My room rearranges itself. And worst of all, <laughs> magic cats. Uh... <laughs> Great Iron Man is not scared, is he? Let's just say I'll be more comfortable once I've studied the problem. I feel like I'm living on one of those paranormal investigation reality shows. <laughs> what sort of things are you doing in here? Oh, that's right. You were out a while. Basically, we've got a gigantic demon inside the magic box here that provides near limitless power for whatever we might need. Sounds insane, but... Sometimes it's easier to just go with it. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, why not magically create a way through that symbiote shield? Have you ever known it to work that way? We can't just wish upon a star here. We need <laughs> to know mean... what we're making first and put together the right components. Otherwise, I'd have already whipped up Strange a new personality. <laughs> you must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. 
Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. It was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. I guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? <laughs> I love all the references. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. All right. Uh. Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye olde demon hunting school, so I'm just <laughs> going to give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. This stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning, but Hydra doesn't seem to mind. They are using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foom. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it? No, 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 no. Nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? Yep. Hey, Hunter. Okay, so, uh, Tony Stark can use the coil material uh, recovered in to combat think. to create hero abilities. Only one of the abilities uh, an offer can be selected, so choose wisely. Um, and basically, it's gone off who was in the mission with you. Um, no problem. So. Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. Um. I'm gonna go with the knot back. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Uh, you've gained a copy of a currently equipped ability. If taken to the yard, duplicate abilities can be combined into new, more powerful versions. So basically, we'd come here, we'd combine cards, and then we, or we, we see whether we can combine any cards, and then we come here to do Welcome it. Welcome to the yard. At least that's what we're calling it these days. Caretaker put me in charge of your training. Too bad she didn't listen to me yesterday. Now that we know what we're up against, I think we can all use the practice. Any questions? I did, but they are about you. Right when it's time to train? From all Sarah told us about you, she never described you as lazy. I learn faster if I understand the person who trains me. I can respect that. Go ahead. Alright. Um... Can I ask about you? I guess. Uh... Yeah. How did you become a Dampier? You say that like I had a choice. I was born this way. How is that possible? A vampire bit my mother. Problem was, I was still in the womb. I'm lucky I was even born. 
Don't know if that's how it always is, but that's the way it went down for me. Is your name really Blade? Is your name really the Hunter? Yes. Oh, I... really? Your mom, before she became the mother of demons, looked into your cradle and decided to name her firstborn child the Hunter. That is how I understand it. It takes all kinds. <laughs> so, is your name really Blade? No. What is it? It's private. Is it embarrassing? <laughs> no, the hunter. But I only share it with friends. Oh. You do not consider me a friend? Not yet. Don't take it personally. Okay. <laughs> Blade just being played, man. How long have you been around? I don't exactly know. I think of myself as mid-twenties, maybe. I lost a lot of time. Much of the last century was a blur. I have occasional memories. Almost like coming up for air before being yanked back down into the depths. What happened? I killed a lot of vampires. I hadn't lost my mind exactly, but I got into a rhythm and never stopped. Never had a reason to stop. Not until I met Caretaker. And then? She gave me a reason to stop. What brought you to the Abbey? Caretaker. About ten years ago, she brought me back to the real world. Gave me a place to stay until I came back to myself. Did she ever say why? She said she thought I'd be able to kill more vampires if I was acting on more than just instinct. But I know it was more than that. She gave me safe haven here at the Abbey. Something I'd never known. Must have read half the books in the library by the time I headed out. So when she reached out and asked me to be part of this weird little club, of course I showed up. Tell me about the Midnight Suns. All right. Why did you join? <clears throat> Vampire hunting is a solitary affair. Guess I never found the right team. Is that all? No. But that's all I'll share for now. You really want to know? Put in the work. If I trust you, I'll have more to say. I, lo I love how they really, like, thought about the car. I, ah. Uh. What can you tell me about the others? Nothing. Ask them yourself. <laughs> I'm not asking you to break anyone's confidence. Fine. Which one? Um, yeah. Tell me about Nico. She's the youngest, but she acts like she's in charge. Why let her act like that? She's usually right, and she keeps us on track. I didn't think we'd get along, but we wouldn't be the Midnight Suns without her. What makes you say that? She has a lot of heart, and that's why we let her. Who else? What about Robbie? He's exactly what he seems. Well, sort of. He's open with people. Easy going. Sometimes that comes across as dopey, but don't get the wrong impression. He's quick to make friends, and once he does, he's your friend for life. So don't let him down, or I'll hold it against you. Who else? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what do you know about magic? Keeps to herself. That is it? She's a private person. Until she lets you in, that's all you need to know. When does she let people in? At her own pace. Respect that, and it'll happen faster than you think. Anybody else? I I feel that. On I'm well, it, uh, kind of. I'm kind of like that. Um, with like differences to it. But yeah, I I feel that honestly. Um. Yeah. Tell me what you think of Sarah. Well, there are few people I tolerate, even less who I like. Sarah, I respect. She sees the big picture, and we're a part of it. I'd follow her to hell if I had to. And from what I understand, we may have to. I am surprised she commands such respect. 
I'm surprised that you're surprised. You know what she's like more than any of us. I do. Anyone else? No, that, uh, that would be all. Nobody else. Sure. Uh, okay. Do you have any thoughts on the team as a whole? I think we're the only ones aware of the danger Lilith poses to this world. And I think we're pretty green. But enough training will get us through it. Speaking of training, we doing this, or are we gonna keep wasting daylight? I just... <laughs> I am ready to train. Finally. Alright, so, upgrade and ability. Hunter. Upgrade ability. Time to take it to the next level. Okay. If a hero possesses two copies of an ability, they can be combined to create a new, more powerful version. So, uh, yeah, it, it actually means three. That's a very weird wording. So we'll upgrade a uh, flash here, um, and there we go. Uh, forcefully knock back. Um, All right so. then. There we go. What's up? Thanks, Blade. Mm-hmm. Sure. Alright. There's also uh, those little things on the floor. Uh, pick them up if you see them. They they are useful, honestly. Um, What's shaking? Like the way you move out there, Hunter? Guess Doctor Strange picked the right supernatural demon hunter to resurrect. I'm Carol. Carol Danvers. Uh, you can call me Captain Marvel. Kidding. Carol's fine. Just thought I'd throw a bone to the Avengers PR team. Not gonna lie. Going a few rounds in Vampire Guy's Magic Thunderdome sounds like fun, but we've got bigger fish to fry. Well, not so much fish as that ginormous invulnerable sewer monster that swallowed the Sanctum. Every lock has its key. True, if only a man-eating alien demon monster hadn't eaten ours. But that got me thinking. Strange Caretaker and the rest of the funky bunch can try and magic their way through that shield all they want. <sighs> if my time as a pilot taught me one thing, it's that sometimes you've got to find a workaround. As yeah. in Hydra, they've got to know the way inside. Steve's always said they aren't much for talking. But then again, I'm told I can be rather persuasive when I need to be. <laughs> um. Just how far are you willing to go, Captain? Let's just say that I'm willing to unleash the power of a quantum singularity white hole on them if need be. A uh, quantum what? You'll see. Find me <coughs> in the war room when you're finished here. There's a few things we should discuss. Oh. And Hunter, welcome back from the dead. Oh, thanks. All right. Nothing is certain these days, but these readings are too distinct to ignore. The gamma signature is. Sorry, Bruce, we lost you. Did you say gamma? Yes, get. Hang on a second. Come on, Tony. You managed to stream the Super Bowl to a Cree battleship 50 light years out. This should be easy. We waited all year for that game, and you know the Skrulls would have spoiled it for us if they got the chance. Uh. Well, can't you just... I don't know. Work my magic again? See, that's the problem. This time I am working with actual magic, and let me tell you, it sucks. <laughs> Alright. The gamma signature is completely inverted. The daughter nuclei are being reabsorbed into the parent nuclei, which is... Impossible. If the gamma signature from the sanctum is really that unique, Bruce, then couldn't we just sorry, we're still working out a few gremlins in the system. Try sunlight, and whatever you do, avoid water. Oh, wait, you're being serious? <sighs> we should be able to track this new gamma signature to its source then, right? I do it myself, but we seem to be having a little IT trouble today. <laughs> Please, 
Old Central here is ready to grind through that data like chunk. What exactly is a Central? C-E-N-T-R-A-L. Cognitive Encryption Net Transmogrification. Uh, we'll figure it out later. Sending coordinates now. Hope your gremlins enjoy gamma spectroscopy. Ah, well, he's been a little moody lately, ever since, you know, the problem with the big old green I guy. I heard that. Banner can't turn into the Hulk? Not sure if we should be frightened or relieved. That makes two of us. Oh, hey, come on. Happens to everyone. Well, okay, not everyone. Nice work, Bruce. I know that place. The creepy abandoned warehouse in the bad guy part of town. My favorite kind. Anybody up for paying it a visit? Definitely. <laughs> Aw, see that? Teamwork goosebumps. <laughs> All right. Find me when you're ready. Ah, oh, caretaker. Why? Why you always gotta suck the fun out of that piece of experimental technology? Oh. And she kicks it. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Well, what else do you do with uh, experimental technology? So yeah, as I said, you see those little like, I don't, like color orb things on the ground, just pick them up. They're useful. Alright. Just recently that the Hudson Yards Development Restoration Association purchased this entire block. I'll let you think about that one for a minute. Yeah. Alright. Alright, we're going in. And I love the way, like, we are, we are definitely in tutorial land still, but I don't feel like it. And I love that. I feel like we're actually getting into the story and we're doing things. I love that. Dr. Banner through from Avengers Tower once you reach the other side. This area in particular? Occasionally. Good for a late night snack. Oh dear. Blade, no, no snacking. Mainly because we don't know what's flowing through them, and we we don't want that in your blood system. Let's let's be How honest here. Abandoned off the description of this place. You seeing this, Bruce? Getting all sorts of weird down there. Yo, on a fan off. That dick. I heard he was dead. Well, hoped is perhaps a more accurate description. Calls himself Faustus now. It's a small room. Hydra's resident mad scientist. Not just Hydra's. Lilith's. That's magic coming from those crates. I can feel it. Yeah? How about gamma radiation? You feeling that too? Because that's some pretty evil looking Hydra tech down there. Gamma and magic. I need you to use your science brain on this one, Bruce. We need to approach this situation carefully. Combining those energies is an explosive proposition at best. Think scalpel, not hammer. Stealth, not strength. Yeah, I don't do stealth. <laughs> Kill them. Alright, we're going in. Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. I always yep. considered Faustus a bit of a crackpot, but his fundamental science must be sound. The device would have surely exploded uh... otherwise after your display, Carol. Learned it by watching you, Bruce. Um. Alright, so let's. Oh. Actually, you know what? Yeah. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. We're gonna do that. Let's. 
Let's uh, kick it off with a boo. Um, My regards in hell. Uh, yep. Uh, will do. Right. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, at least this early part of the game, um, that was something. I just try and take out uh, whoever the hell I can um, as quickly as possible. Um, all damage dealing heroes' abilities. Have a chance. Uh, have a chance to become critical when they are drawn. Uh, critical ability. Uh, critical abilities deal increased damage. Holy shit! Um, damn, struggling with words and shit. Yeah. Um, right. Um, all right. Um Yeah, why not? I am impressed. Um, and then we'll we'll end I our turn. Never forsake her. Uh, tactical mode allows you to quickly access the entire battlefield and the conditions of enemies. I've never been one um, to buy into the science of magic. So but the data I'm seeing yeah. is hard to ignore. Uh, there are more things in heaven and earth, Horatio. Ta tactical mode's you know a bit a weird. There's no real hybrid. different. Like I'm in it now. Right. Um, so it's yeah. Uh, sometimes it is very useful though. Uh, to be fair, um, so, uh, ha, huh. uh, yeah, Your sure. Time has come. Weak, even for Hydra. There we go. Um, I'm gonna redraw that, and I'm gonna do that. Level up on blades. Nice. Um. Uh. Yeah. Why the hell not? That's a neat trick. So that's how that works. Um. All right. <clears throat> More reinforcements. Um, Is it possible he somehow stabilized the rate of decay within the particles right. themselves? How else could he be achieving such a high yield? Uh, I don't know, Bruce. I'll be sure to ask him when we're done punching out the bad guys. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Vampires are not the only ones who can fear you. Who's next? You kissed the mother with that mouth? Um, and... Sure, why not? We'll do that. Uh, and then we'll do that. Order makes things interesting. Um, yeah, I, I, I hate wasting cards like that, but 
for this beginning bit, we're same. we're good. Um, later on, you'll probably see me more go, on and now, off, but quickly. for now. Go, go, go. Ah, the perfect opportunity to field test mother's device. <laughs> yeah, you just you just supercharged her body. That's basically what you just did. <laughs> so, yeah. All right. So th this is essentially a mission type: uh, retrieve the mysterious artifact from the truck. Break the Hydra shield guard's protection to access the truck. Use the recovery artifact card to secure the artifact. For the record, Bruce, I did not smash that. Noted, Carol. Perhaps you might direct all that energy towards your newfound adversaries instead. Um, and the mysterious cargo they're attempting to escape with? Any objective that is protected cannot be complete. Or any objective, sorry. Uh, reduce the Hydra shield guard's block to zero in order to break protection. Uh, much of a fight. Right. Yet. Um. Take this. Captain Marvel can now go binary. Playing three Captain Marvel cards will draw the Go Binary ability in her binary state. Captain Marvel will deal significant more damage. Captain Marvel will lose her binary state once all of her block has been removed. Um, Alright. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's do some damage to this thing. Your loyalty to the um, demons will be your undoing. Uh Now th th this is where the tactical view uh actually comes in use cuz then you can actually see kind of what you're aiming at. Um Oh, damn it. No, god damn it. No, just ah, why is it being so tricky? Come on. Ah, it's been so weird. And I don't know why. Um Um, oh, Jesus Christ, can you just, like... I could leave and come back when you're ready. Shut up, Carol. I'm trying to work something out. Um... Why is that Don't not... Play. Okay, you know what. Now I see why so many fear your strength. Um... Yeah. Um Okay. Um Yep. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> we've got we've got a lot of minions to deal with. I'm I'm going to say that right now. Um which is bad. Um they must really want to piss And th me this off. is why I usually try and take out the minions first, but it's eh, it's one of those things. 
Um, at least Carol had a good uh, a good defense, um, which is good, very good. Um, and now more's coming in. Oh boy. Um, Yeah, he he's now going to go. The blast confirms high levels of gamma mental. and various unknown energies. Um, unknown to you, there is dark magic at work here. So, you must not let Hydra escape with it. Uh, supply crate has been recovered. Defeat the enemy. Remaining enemies to complete the mission. One less thing to worry about. Approximately um, sixteen thousand three hundred and forty-two more to go. I suggest starting with the remaining Hydra forces in your vicinity. Uh, yeah. Right. Um. Um. Go, go. Leave some for the rest of us. Um. Right, that's gonna take two. Um. We need to actually get you out of the... Is that going to be out of the... Yes, it is. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay. Um, and now we're going to go with the stake. Now what I'd like to do here is get two, yeah, two minions Let's that we can it. just kill straight off. Um, yeah, not not bad at all, actually. Um, oh no, uh, health's really low, actually. Um, yeah, we're uh, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I think they like me. At least her arm is still up on the defense. You really want to keep doing that? Um, which is good, very good. Um, okay, clear, so we won't be able to recreate Faustus's experiment or track potential future variants gamma signatures without a baseline resonant sample from his initial occult catalyst. <sighs> Got it. Yeah. Stop the truck. We've already. Done all that, buddy. You, you're kind of behind on that one. Um. Yeah, I, I just need to start whittling them down. Um. Honestly. Um. Ah. Uh, uh. Okay, I guess. And then I'll, I'll, I'll do this, and then I'll see who's hitting who. Um, honestly. You're lucky to still be breathing. Um, right, so... Okay, you kind of need it more. Because, uh, there's two attacking him. Level up, very nice. Um, and then... Honestly, I'm gonna do that, and then on that one. Um, ah, it's not really what I wanted. It's good. It's all good. We should be good. But blades, blades looking rough here. Um, Carol's still looking amazing, but um, oh god. Yeah, it's done. That, that. Oh no! 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 Um. Blades can be quite frustrating, infuriating even. You know what? Yeah. Usually I wouldn't do that, but to like make sure he doesn't explode, and the stun is now removed. Um. So. Usually, again, usually wouldn't do that, but, um, 
Certain circumstances, man. Interesting. That's why I love this game, honestly. Because, um, like, things like that that, you know, you just wouldn't usually uh, think about or, you know, level Looking up. Good. Feeling good. Blade is uh, kicking ass here. Really badly, actually. Okay. Here we go. Mother. We've done it. What is this thing? Bad guy crate, full of bad guy stuff. Yeah. I know those symbols from the time of the first hunt. That cliff means barrier. That one almighty, something something, gods and demons. So a spooky bad guy crate. Very spooky. Designed to contain powerful magic. Be careful. <sighs> Got it. Don't cross the streams. Never do. How about we get this thing back to the Abbey and see for ourselves? Hey, babe, Blake just did a movie reference. <laughs> <coughs> Awesome. Nice job out there, kid. I mean, I didn't get Hydra bombed until my tenth run with the Avengers. Kid, you do know that I'm a good three centuries older than you, right? And you've got a lot of catching up to do. Okay, Abbey Tournament tonight. Sure about that? Last one got a little heated. The Eternal Spirits of Vengeance take technical fouls very seriously, especially in fourth quarter. Forget it. Tonight is movie night. It is always movie night. Exactly. Wow, out of jail again? Who made this game? Wilson Fisk? Well, if parking is free, clearly no one from Manhattan. You know what they say. All work and no play is how we ended up with Ultron. Come on. You should hang out. I... should rest. Another time. see how did this work again uh okay uh nico has sent you a message on superlink open the strategy polls menu by blah 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 and then yes yeah. okay so there we go go to superlink and uh we want to go to messages there we go uh, Hunter, you were? Uh, you there? By the way, this is Nico. In case nobody gave you the rundown on how the spark works, Blade and Cap Marvel just filled us in. Freaky stuff. Especially, uh... Fasotis? I, I don't know. Uh, and then they all just left me here alone. You should come hang out. I, I I actually know people like this and sometimes I'm appreciative of it and other times I'm like ugh really good you answered getting hard to keep finding ways to say open door around here and despite what Robbie says, I don't think the staff of one speaks high elven. Blood magic stuff. Cool room. Spacious. Aw, oh, is that bed for Charlie? Yes. So, if you're planning on giving me some sort of brooding code of the stoic warrior speech, I'm immune. Just ask later, magic. 
From what I just saw out there, whatever crazy ancient living weapon stuff Caretaker put you through back in the day did a real number on you. We got a lot of work to do. Work? Yeah, talking to people, making friends, basic human stuff, or quasi-human. <laughs> You're a midnight sun now, one of us. Nico, I was just hydra-bombed. I could use some rest. You and me both. Been bad dreams every night for me lately. I, uh, keep seeing Wanda. She... Never mind. I will meet you outside. Yes! I'll go nuke us some popcorn and you pick out a movie. Oh, and it may just be the two of us. The others went outside, needed to cool off. Really need to hang a fan over that forge. Or maybe crack open the casket of ancient wonders a little? I love Nico so much! Oh, I... Oh, I love her. So All right. Dr. Faustus try to drop a warehouse on you? Ugh, that guy is so lame. Talk about a prototypical follower. Alright. Uh, choose hangout. <clears throat> I know this entire situation's gotta suck for you. Not just the whole resurrected chosen one thing. I get why facing Lilith won't be easy. I was 15 when I found out my mother was capital E evil. Uh, sorry to hear you went through that. It was bad, but I learned to deal with it. It's the only way forward, right? Look, I'm glad my mother is gone, but yeah, at times I just want to hear her voice again. Some days I'd give anything to make that happen. Makes me hate her even more. I did not realize you carried such pain. I just learned to bury it. You think I can afford a therapist on a superhero salary? I'm kidding. We don't get paid for this. Uh, enough about our crappy parents. You missed out on decades of good movies. It's my solemn duty to fill this knowledge gap with the best examples I can provide. So, the first thing you need to know, the glowing briefcase is a metaphor. Can we do it again? Uh, so basically, hangouts are the way of developing friendships, which but the game will explain it, but friendships are very uh, important in this game. Um, but as I said, the game will kind of uh, explain that um as we uh as we go um and again i love this tutorial it's not just bombarding you with everything and it's like okay go it's like uh, i just spent half an hour trying to learn everything ah uh so, i love it what did you think of the movie i understood more than i should how you've been dead for three centuries i'm not so sure i was dead not exactly I recall a deep slumber, not the void. I... I dreamt. Of what? Of everything. Much of this world is familiar to me. I know it from my dreams. Uh, that's not creepy at all. So, do you know everything? No, I... I think of it like this. I know what a car is, but I have no idea how to drive. You're up to date, but not omniscient. <laughs> then I'm guessing you don't know much about me. Just what you shared earlier. You're always free to ask. Like, what's the staff of one, or who were the runaways? <laughs> All right. <laughs> I had some questions about your staff. Uh, sure. Uh, but first, um, the basics. The Staff of One interprets words or phrases as spells, but it can only cast a spell once. No repeats. If each magical effect is unique, do you worry you will run out of words? 
Not really. I only use the staff's power when I truly need it. The rest of the time, I rely on more conventional means. Like, you know, magic. I had some questions about your old team. The runaways? Sure thing. Uh... Were you all heroes who banded together? No, we were normal kids. We saw each other once a year when our parents got together to reminisce. And then we found out two very disturbing things. <laughs> First, our parents were supervillains who sacrificed children to evil gods. Second, each of us had some sort of powerful birthright. Our parents wanted us to follow in their footsteps. What did you do? We ran. But eventually, we realized only the six of us could stop our parents and their dark gods, so we faced them and stopped them from destroying reality as we know it. You know, typical kid stuff. I... I, I uh, right. <laughs> Who was on the team? At first, uh, Chase with his mad science gear, Molly, our pint-sized powerhouse, Carolina, the solar-powered sweetheart. Gert had a telepathic link to Old Lace, a genetically engineered Deinonychus from the 87th century. I handled the blood magic, so I didn't understand it much. And Alex? Uh, well, we don't talk about Alex. I... D I... Mm. Where are your friends now? Molly attends Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Carolina left Earth to marry alien nobility. Gert... She, uh... She didn't make it. After Gert passed, uh, Chase and I had a falling out. The last I heard, he and Old Lace are living at his family home in L.A. As for Alex, uh, he chose his side, and it wasn't ours. He died with our parents. Damn, man. I should get going. Uh, good... Good timing. Um, looks like Caretaker wants to speak with you, and wow, I should get to bed. Time flies when you're hanging out. Oh, I love her so much. I, I don't know what it is about Nico, but I just, ah, oh, I love her. Looks like you're finding your way around. Maybe making some new friends. I was planning on getting some rest, but... Things are moving at a frantic pace. For all we know, I'll be landing a jet on the roof with Mr. Stark this afternoon. <sighs> Not quite like it was in the good old days. Mm. I remember many sleepless nights and blood-soaked days. Always on the hunt. I'll give you that. But there were times back then I wouldn't trade for anything. With both you and... Agatha. Where is Agatha? I am sorry. I should have had this talk with you much sooner. But you should know... Agatha... She's no longer with us. What? Th that is impossible. She was so... Fierce. Indomitable. Or maybe just kind to a fault. Agatha's power. How could she be gone? She put her trust in the wrong person. Agatha died in an accident caused by her protege, Wanda Maximoff, the Scarlet Witch. The Midnight Sun's latest recruit, a powerful spellcaster in her own right. Perhaps the most powerful Agatha and I had ever seen. Wanda's abilities were growing. Too quickly, for my liking. Agatha was determined to help her control them. I tried to caution her, but she would not listen. There was an incident. An accident, I'm sure, but... Agatha was killed. Yes, incinerated in an instant. Not even Ash to remember her by. The others were heartbroken, as was I. But I also saw the danger, the threat, 
If Wanda's powers were left unchecked. So I did what needed to be done. I sent Wanda away, to the Sanctum Sanctorum, to study under Doctor Strange. I know the others still harbor a great deal of resentment towards me for it. So, and again, the, the game will explain this. Basically, there's light and dark in this game, and then there's kind of in the middle. Um... And I'm kind of just going to play this game as me. Um, and just give answers that I would give. Um, so yeah, the, the, the answers is a, is a real kind of big thing in this game. But again, also, you know, like, sometimes I'll kind of shift with it, but I'm pretty sure I'm just gonna... So, we may end up light, we may end up dark, um, but I'm just gonna kind of, you know, answer, answer as I would. And again, there are consequences to that, uh, as you guys will see. Was Wanda so different from me as a child? Was it that easy to send her away? I didn't have a choice. Wanda's powers were beyond even her own control, and this time I had no Agatha to help me, as I had with you. I thought she would be safe with Strange. On that part, at least, I was clearly mistaken. Ah, oh, Wanda. Agatha. It seems we've lost them both now. I conjured a small shrine to Agatha's memory on the grounds, hoping to find some solace, a way to move forward. You should pay your respects. Maybe you'll find what I couldn't. Good night, Hunter. Okay, here we go. The Hunter can follow the path of light or dark through the choices they make in the Abbey and the abilities they use in combat. The powerful rewards can be unlocked as Hunter moves down either path. So basically, the light and dark or neutral basically kind of it kind of decides what cards you can unlock um if you're light then you'll unlock a load of light cards if you're dark you'll unlock a load of dark cards um to be used in combat um so yeah that's basically the gist of it with that um I wish this game kind of spelt it out more in black and white of, hey, it's to do with your combat cards. But also, it's kind of fun finding out for yourself, like, the exact meaning and reasoning and why for things. Uh, but yeah. Agatha. You always did have the most remarkable eyes, Hunter. Just like your mother's. Maybe that's why you're the first. The first? To commune with the spirits, of course. <laughs> Is this a trick of some kind? Because I am not amused. No, oh, it's no trick, dear. You're just the first to see me. By now, you've heard I had a bit of trouble with my corporeal body. I actually find it quite liberating. You are dead. Always straight to the heart of things. That's my hunter. Hmm. You seem strangely at ease about this whole thing. After a thousand years of living, you learn to take things in stride. Even death. And... What have you been doing all this time? Meet me by the cave just over there. You know the one. The Bloodgate? Caretaker always told me to stay away from that place. I think we can safely lift the veil on a few more of our secrets. What's the worst that can happen? Uh, uh, th um, death? Maybe? <laughs> Okay, that's... yeah. 
Um, try not to get distri distracted by shinies, Neo. Okay. looking portal is known as a blood gate and you're the only one among us who can pass through it blood gate caretakers handiwork yes sarah got a little overprotective after the accident with wanda it's become something of a habit for her i have noticed that what lies beyond is meant for you as much as it ever was for her assuming you're up to the challenge that is you know i am I do, but it's always polite to ask. That is something. Okay, open the way to locations, Bard. Um, okay. There was a time when the blood stood within these celestial halls to prove their worth. This particular arena belongs to a goddess who often favored Sarah, Ashtor. Sarah, caretaker, was here? Nothing ever comes easy, dear. The Elder Gods felt their descendants needed to earn their blessings, which is why they created these trials to begin with. Trials? I shall. This entire realm exists for that purpose. Trial by combat, with no chance of outside interference. And this is my challenge. Yes, but I may have found a loophole they never considered. Why don't you try summoning your four-legged friend? <laughs> <laughs> the old gods are responsible for a great many creations, including your faithful companion. I think even they tend to forget that. Good luck, dear. Alright. Defeat all enemies to complete the encounter. As the goddess of balance and order, Ashtor was sometimes called the giver of justice. Okay. You can expect a fair fight, or at least her idea of one. Okay, so... Uh, lot of enemies. You were too weak for this fight. Lot of things to uh, deal with here. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Uh. Uh. All right. Um, yeah, as I said, lots of enemies, um, which, uh, yeah, need to try and take out we can here. Um, all right. Our girl, these hellhounds are nothing but mindless beasts. Don't hesitate to strike. They certainly won't. Yeah, kind of, kind of forgot that. Agatha. I am impressed. Um, I'm gonna actually redraw these. Um, because right now all we need are attacks. To be honest. Um. So, let's uh, just uh, get this done. And Charlie will take the last hit. Or get the last hit. 
Good girl, Charlie. Oh, and you too, Hunter. You finish this trial, but don't worry. The other gods are waiting. So that uh, 60 plus gloss at the uh, bottom left, or close to the bottom left, um, that is um, essentially how we unlock things like the costumes and all that stuff. So quite a quite a valuable resource, but not necessarily like needed needed. So yeah. Gifts allow magical locks and gates to be opened. Uh, open will allow you to access new arenas of the Abbey and its grounds, which are locked by magical means. Sarah has a right to be wary of this place, but it's your birthright, and I think after everything you've been through, you can handle it now. The two of you, as well as your mother, are the last of your kind, the blood. Your lineage follows an unbroken line to the old gods themselves. And if you call upon them, you might just find they're actually listening. They won't work miracles for you, but their blessings can be quite useful in the right circumstance. Why don't you ask the goddess Ashtor for her aid in dealing with that barrier over there? All right. Goddess of Order approves. Yes, yes indeed. Okay, still can't do those yet. Uh, which again, you know, the, the game will explain stuff. After all I promise, this time, guys. It's still just as beautiful as the first time I laid eyes on it. It's hard to believe Lilith and Caretaker brought this place all the way from Transia. Of course, it was no coincidence that they wound up so close to Salem. This area is particularly attuned to the forces of magic. That's why the Elder God's influence was so prevalent here. And why our sanctuary here has remained all but impregnable over the centuries. <laughs> and now I'm rambling on like an old sorcerer supreme. <laughs> Why don't you come see me in the library tomorrow night? Oh, and let's keep this just between the two of us for now. I'm afraid Sarah, uh, caretaker, isn't ready to see me yet. Good night, Hunter. All right. So you, usually you would have to just go to sleep after every night. Uh, I think there's only a few uh, there is my ferocious Charlie um, girl. times when it just automatically does it for you. Um, but uh, yeah. Right, so gloss. Um, let's go to customization. Um, so you can see, like, again, like... We've just unlocked that, and it, it, as far as I can tell, it's not for any particular reason. It's a little bit weird, I gotta admit. I don't know if it's because you do a particular thing, or if it's just time-based. Um, 
I'm I'm genuinely not too sure. Um, and then you can unlock things for your room as well, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm gonna unlock that because why the hell not? It's pretty cheap. So, but uh, so yeah, guys. Uh, you know, I'll I'll slowly kind of unlock this stuff. Um, as as we go, um, but for now, I wanna I wanna kind of and I, I realize I'm kind of getting to my wrap up time. But damn, this game's uh, just uh, is too on? good. Uh, Hunter, please come to the forge um, at your earliest convenience. Again, that's Hunter to the forge. So let's uh, let's go uh, to the forge. Out. The moon. Moon Knight hides his true identity behind his cloak and shadow. This card represents deception, but also creativity and the unconsciousness. Um. By the way, I'm not curious. I'm not gonna be doing like every little thing in this game with this way, uh, or this uh, playthrough, whatever. It, it's just I will end up getting Hunter, bored, and then I His yeah. So and I it will kill the game for that me. Nasty little Hydra gift box you found. Ah uh, yes, the spooky crate. The very one, though it is far from any mere container. I assure you, I am detecting powerful emanations from inside. If this is a sign of what Hydra is after, I fear we are all in grave danger. My offer still stands. I could fly the thing up and nuke it in orbit. Only way to be sure. Or we could open it, Tony. And perhaps use the mystical energies I sense inside to our advantage. Yeah, I heard a we in there. <laughs> Green goopy gamma serums are one thing. I'm not opening boxes full of mummy curses. <laughs> you don't have to. Hunter, if you'll allow me. Your second funeral, boss. Uh, uh. All right, strange. All right. That is something. Hmm. All right. Let's uh, is let's let uh, Steve play with box. his uh, magic box. If Hydra is now working to acquire mystical antiquities, then our situation is very dire indeed. We need to find a way to gain the upper hand. And you think you can do it with whatever's in the container? Tony has one of the greatest scientific minds that I've ever seen. I, of course, have an unparalleled understanding of the mystic arts. I have no doubt that we can find a way to research whatever we find in there and have it work in our favor. I just wonder what it could be. Um... I hope the two of you create something powerful. I want to stop Lilith quickly and decisively. As I said, I'm sure it can help us. I just need to convince Tony to set his ego aside. His discomfort with the esoteric nature of the arcane might be a problem. But Tony's eccentricities aside, I know you can make this work. Right now, with the sanctum out of my reach, I'm fighting with one hand tied behind my back. Metaphorically, that is. If I can find items to research, I can give the Midnight Suns every possible advantage over Lilith and her disciples. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Me too, Hunter. Now, all this talk is going nowhere unless we can get this container open and study what's inside. Step up to the anvil, Hunter. It doesn't bite. All right. Are there any curses I should be aware of? Uh, studying artifacts unlocks more powerful research projects at the forge and generates significant resources for use in ability upgrades and crafting. Um, alright. By the hoary hosts of Hoggoth, I, I can hardly believe it. What? Is it worse than you expected? No, it's totally unexpected it's the eternity dagger 
This was in a place of honor in my bedchamber in the Sanctum for years. The Sanctum Sanctorum is no common domicile to be burglared. These barbarians have no idea what they possessed. Or perhaps they did. Maybe these artifacts are exactly what Faustus and my mother were after to begin with. A distressing thought. If they had my dagger, then who knows what others of my priceless possessions have passed through their greedy fingers. The yes. cube of nothingness. The tear of Provia, and most worrisome of all. Your toothbrush? You, uh, had a little coffee thing going on this morning with your breath? Oh, Tony. Sorry. Doc's right, Hunter. I drank three glasses of holy water just to walk through the Sanctum's front door. This is like a doomsday vault for all sorts of supernatural nastiness. We need to put a lid on this mess. Pronto. I believe Carol is already working on it. At last. Now that this artifact has been returned to its proper owner, we shall see if we can make use of the mystic forces contained within. Alright. So that, that you can see. Trash is another's um, and essentially, the judge on this one. again, uh, it will explain everything. Because um, I'll only mess up <laughs> um, trying to explain it and jumping ahead. Um, research projects take one day to complete, but grant powerful with uh, rewards like room upgrades, combat items, and hero outfits. Um, okay, so we've got supernatural fabrication. Uh, yeah, so we can unlock uh, combat items. We can increase ability uh, options and earn an additional ability when analyzing gamma coils. Um, and we can't do that yet. So, um, I'm going to take the war games. Yeah. All right. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. Research is now in progress. Return to the forge tomorrow morning for the results. Uh, and we have That's a gamma coil. Take a look. How does this look? Um, I'm gonna go with the strike, honestly. And uh, hey, Hunter, there we go. Uh, got a sec to spare? Yeah, sure, Robbie. Oh, he's hit. Uh, you moving into the forge, Hunter? You've been here more in the past few days than I have since ever. The forge is pretty badass. But the creature trapped inside riles up my own inner demon. Um, speaking of, there's something you should know about me. You are bonded with a spirit of vengeance? Damn, you're good. How could you tell? You are not the first spirit of vengeance to join the Midnight Suns. I fought beside another just a few days. <clears throat> three centuries ago. Oh, man, um... Sometimes when I have crap to work through, I like to get my blood pumping. Why don't we hit the yard for a sparring session? I know Sparky's excited to meet you. Sparky? That's what I call my spirit of vengeance. His real name is something you'd see written on a symbol, but with like 12 apostrophes. <laughs> also, he's not allowed inside after the incident with caretaker Sumerian Sofa. <laughs> you know, I, I can't help myself. He allows you to call him Sparky? <laughs> yeah. He knows it's coming from a good place. He's really impressive, Hunter. I can't wait for the two of you to meet. Okay, let's do this. I'll get Blade to set things up. Won't take a minute. I will head to the yard. Um, when you and Sparky trade places, what does he look like? He's the guy with the flaming metal skull and hellfire chains. Kinda hard to miss. I mean, I... Uh, yeah, we kind of... Yeah. 
I mean, I guess if you've met one, yeah, that's that's a bit of a weird one for him. Although, I guess if he doesn't know that they all kind of look the same, then it's kind of, yeah, I, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough, Hunter. All right. Um, Ready to get your burn on? Yeah. I'm talking training with Ghost Rider. Um, Spirits of vengeance train the hardest. <laughs> All right. We're going to upgrade the abilities first. And we're going to do strike. So now we can chain three. Um, which is awesome. And then daily sparring. Uh... Every day, the hunter can choose a new partner to spar with, uh, resulting in incre uh, increased friendship and unique rewards. Uh, begin sparring. Um, I wish that... Well, it's kind of weird. Sometimes I wish that there was, like, a tiny combat. Um, Maybe you should be the speaker. And then other times, I completely understand why they chose to do it Hunters, this way. report to the war room. Um, We've got a mission. Like, there's no... Nothing. You just sort that's that's the training. Um so it's it's a little bit odd, but also I get it. Um alright. Hello. Oh there we go. You called for me, Captain? Keep telling ya, Carol works too, but yeah, I did. Now that Tony's finally <coughs> starting to get a handle on his gremlin problem, I've been able to put Central to good use. Got a lead on some particularly gnarly Hydra operations happening in the city. But we need to move fast if we want to intercept them in time. Then let's get going. My thoughts exactly. There's just one problem, though. We seem to have lost our gatekeeper, Magic. Lost? Well, I updated her on the mission. She said something I can only assume to be a prolific swear word in Russian and disappeared. Literally. And with no magic... There's no passage to New York. Or anywhere, for that matter. Now you see my problem. Do not worry, Captain. I will locate and alert her of the team's needs. There's that can-do, get-it-done, old-timey, prophesied savior of humanity attitude I was hoping to see today. So, <laughs> you better hurry. Not sure how long Hydra will remain in their current position. Yeah, I, I mean, shall make haste. That's that's yes, true. You hasten um, as much as you can, Hunter. I do. I do kind of love the way she talks. Uh, I gotta be honest, like, it's kind of old-fashioned, but it's also hit with, like, so much, um, just, just, yeah, it's, yeah, I love it. Right, let's, uh, speak Not much to more her. I can tell you, Hunter, though I did hear her mutter something about Wanda right before she poofed away. Maybe that helps. Thanks, Captain. I shall find her. All right. Um, so you see the little speech bubble things? That's basically um, telling us that those people want to uh, talk to us, basically. Um, so that's 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 what that is. Um, so uh, we shall uh, go back to the forge and speak to both of these guys. Doctor. Have you seen magic recently? I'm curious why you would be asking me that. Perhaps I'm just being sensitive, but I get the feeling she doesn't like me very much. I suspect it has something to do with losing Wanda. Sorry I can't help you more. Mm. You would not perchance know where I can find magic? Uh, sure, just look all around you. The Abbey is literally littered with magic. Can't go anywhere without tripping over some hex or curse. Right. Thank you, Tony. Uh, <laughs> I love the way at this point he's like, he's not even bothering to, like, he's just like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. All right. Um. Crazy world you woke up to, Hunter. Hydra running around causing trouble. Apocalypse prophecies. The Bronx. It is indeed, Daywalker. And that op against Faustus. The way Captain Marvel just absorbed that bomb. Unbelievable, isn't it? Oh, 
Are you trying to make a point with this? No. I mean, I just wanted to catch up. I see. Well... She's something else, though, huh? Excuse me? Smart, quick-witted, fearless. Hell, she even glows. <laughs> and do you find all of your allies equally impressive? Yes. No. Wait, wait. What are you trying to say? <laughs> um... Uh... Yeah. You are not used to expressing feelings of affection, are you? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> my apologies. <laughs> and if I did, this ain't my first rodeo, you know? Of course it is not. Whatever a rodeo is. <laughs> yeah. Well, now that that's settled, maybe I should go sharpen my steaks or something. And maybe we should keep this uh, chat to ourselves for now. Have you seen... No. All right. I just... I... <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Ah, it's crazy. Uh, right, was... Okay, there he is. Okay, so... Uh, oh, okay. Caught on the little thing there. I'm okay. For another ra Robbie, have you seen magic? No, but there were some pretty crazy energy flashes coming from the dorms a few minutes ago. It usually means she wants to be left alone. Trust me on that. Thanks, Robbie. Um, right. Um. Uh, can we still talk to her hey, about that? for someone that, we just or? dug up, you look pretty fresh. I <laughs> Tony Stark used to be the ultra rich okay, drunk I saw no. on TV. All right. Right, let's uh let's go speak to uh to magic. This room belonged to the Scarlet Witch, did it not? Wanda. It belongs to Wanda. Let me guess. You are to ask me to do the one thing the others value me for, opening their precious portal. Well, I am in the middle of something. Come back later. So, okay, the you guys will see, magic is a very interesting um, character when it comes down to her interactions and what she likes and basically um, anything dark and sarcastic. It's I don't know the magic character, I gotta be completely honest. So it really kind of spun my head the first time I played this game. Um, so spoilers for those of you that haven't played it, uh, this game before, but yeah, that's, that's the thing up with magic. Captain Marvel has a lead on Hydra. Time to go. I'm in the middle of something. Come back later. Something more important than saving the world? Wanda's first grimoire. Agatha gave it to her when she was teaching her witchcraft, the dark arts. She was trying to help Wanda control her powers. She would never let me read it. So now I read it. That is no child's book, whose focus for one second can be lost completely within its pages. Let me guide you through it. You do not own the darkness, Hunter. I was also raised within it. So much so, I barely remember a time without it. And now Wanda has this in common with us, too. I know what she's going through. To come face to face with true evil itself. To be dragged to some hell dimension so hot that your soul is scorched black. Your heart so filled with soot that it chokes out all the bright parts of you. Until you are just a dark thing of smoke and ash. I cannot let such a fate happen to her. Hmm. Then put the damn book down, and help me get her back. You are nothing if not direct. Not to mention unrelenting. I can respect that. 
And perhaps you are not entirely incorrect. See what I mean? Okay. Magic's a weird character. Portal. It is time such as this that I wish someone else here could drill holes through space and time. <laughs> perhaps Dr. Yeah. Strange should spend less time tinkering with Tony Stark in the forge and focus more on his magic. Ugh, no matter. I will be there when you are ready, Hunter. Goodbye. So yeah, I guess... And this is my... And again, like, I've no doubt that they've made magic accurate just because of the other ways that they've done the other characters. But I wonder if they kind of dug magic out um, and kind of was like, okay, we need one of them where a lot of her responses are dark and that will at least balance it out for people that maybe realize, oh, they're picking a lot of light. Um, I'm only guessing, um, and that would kind of make sense. Um, so, yeah. Um, which, which would be pretty cool if they did think of it that way. And I've got to be completely honest. I don't really know if Midnight Suns was originally a comic book thing, or I like I I honestly don't know. Um, I'm gonna presume it was. Uh, to be completely honest. Good day. Uh, but yeah. I take it you found our gatekeeper. Then let me explain what's going on. When Hydra isn't preoccupied with world-ending scenarios, they spend a lot of their free time terrorizing the citizens of New York through various low-level operations. It's fairly routine stuff for heroes these days, and worst case, we'll still get some fresh intel in the process. Why don't you check the mirror table and see what we've got on our plate? Yep. All right. So, by the way, the symbol of the character um, just means the character that you have to take, basically. Um, combat bonuses. Ghost Rider earned a combat bonus from sparring with the Hunter. Add him to the squad to learn a powerful boost at the start of the next mission. <sighs> I really want to take Nico. Fine. Um, I actually really like Robbie or this version of Ghost Rider. I get not like the version, the but just the character. But I fly. don't necessarily like so Ghost that? Rider's uh, cards. Um, I gotta be completely We're honest. We're sending you straight to the coordinates capital so... identified in New York. Dr. Banner has confirmed that the gamma signatures in the area match those of Faustus's weapon. We need to recover whatever intel we can if we're going to find out exactly what's going on down there. The shockwave would shatter most of your weapons. Um, so I apologize if I don't use Ghost Rider a lot. But it, it's just kind of one of those things. Disable the Hydra helicopter before it can depart. Target the helicopter with attacks to disable it before time runs out. Uh, certain enemies will grant powerful cards when KO'd. Tip, highlight an enemy with the cursor to see what cards they will grant. So again, this is essentially a tutorial to... A different um single world different uh, mission type to satiate your appetite for destruction you insist on meddling further forcing our hand yet again oh that's just lovely faustus um. has a radio i'm assuming whatever hydra is attempting to flee with on that chopper is our target i suggest we stop it and see for ourselves uh yeah i'm gonna do that Well, that's exciting. Yep. And then, uh, uh, yep. Vengeance is near. 
See, we've only got four turns to do this, so we really do have to, like, you have earned this. hunt down the helicopter and really, um, target it. Um, we don't really have a choice in that, uh, to be honest. Or at least I don't, because, you know, I'm okay at video games, but I'm not the best. Uh, and this is why missions like this can be uh, dangerous, shall we say. Um, yeah, so that guy's going to explode. Uh, explode, sorry. So... Um... I will open more than your eyes. Such a uh, spirit. Yeah, you we're gonna do that. Get him out of that. We cannot possibly match your strength. And then we're gonna. Uh. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Heroes can never have more block than the maximum health. Awesome. Um. Not bad. Um. And then no, we can't do that. But what we can now do is get her the hell out of dodge. Um. Okay, we can't use anything, so we'll just move her away. There we go. Uh, once a hero uses move, they can continue to reuse move to reposition themselves until any hero uses an ability. I think that's a new thing. <coughs> um... Could be wrong about that, but... Um, that seems... new. It has been a while since I've played this. Um, but that just seems... I don't remember that being a thing. Um... To be honest, More souls come for judgment. Oh. The last thing we need is for that pompous buffoon to win today. Oh, God. Yep, 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 yep. Alright, so I'm gonna redraw that. Um. Shit. Um. I'm going to redraw that. Um, oh god. Uh, uh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, we should be okay, I hope. Um, and this is why these type of missions can be, uh, difficult. Uh, I wonder, can we hit the... Yes, we can. Okay, let's just get this done. There we go. I should have checked that before. That's my bad. Um, and there you can see... Um, defeat the remaining enemies. You've grounded the um, helicopter. Excellent. Now you'll need to clean up the rest of Hydra's forces. Yep. So now it's just a normal battle, essentially. Um, and now we just want to start 
taking these guys out. Um, we might as well get the card, so let's do that. Um, and then, honestly, let's see... No, so, well... Um... Hmm. Yeah, let's do that. Get rid of the weaklings. Um, there we go. Um, and it won't always be the case. Like, later on, you have to target the big guys first. Uh, just because of abilities and such. Um, so... Right. We're gonna heal Ghost Rider. Dare to stand against ye fearsome gods! Um, All is possible with mother! Yep, gonna do that. I think these guys got their tactics from the back of a magazine. Uh, uh. Um. Um. Yeah. And then, um, yeah, we'll go by three. And I'm gonna get rid of that, uh, cause all we need now are, well, actually, okay, I'll keep that. We for need now. to pull it together. Follow my lead. It's your time now. Okay, so he's gonna go Kaplui, which is fine, um, because we can just target him now. Um, and then, uh, yep. You are lucky to still be breathing. Um, and then, honestly, uh, yep. What sort of being are you? There we well go. Well done. Seems like that's the last of them. Last. <laughs> there are more heads to the Hydra than you will ever comprehend, heroes. This is a minor setback at most. Well, at least we don't have to listen to yes. you any longer today. I consider that alone a victory. Kill one, and two more heads grow back. Yeah. Well done. If Hydra wasn't paying attention before, they are now. Stay sharp. If you didn't know who that was, I'm not spoiling it for you. And I know I usually stop about now, but I just, I can't help myself but keep playing. I can't help it, guys. I love this game. Mission rewards are tied to hero level. So, as the hunter gains levels in combat, uh, the rewards offered on future missions will improve. Don't worry about leveling every hero. As the hunter's level increases, any weaker heroes will automatically level up so they don't fall behind. Tip, at higher difficulty levels, all heroes level up faster, granting access to higher rarity rewards sooner. Alright, let's uh, speak to magic. Feeling a chill, Magic? You could say that. I've been staring at the night sky trying to figure it out. Figure what out? You're observant, Hunter. You tell me. Do 
You were trying to figure out how to bring Wanda back. Close, Hunter. But no. Something much more sinister has grabbed my attention. Sinister? When I was holding the transdimensional door for you back there, I sensed something was at the docks with you. Something dark and familiar. What did you see, Ileana? I did not see, I said. I sensed something there. But that's not the only thing I sensed today. Oh? Something has shifted in Limbo. But I cannot quite put my finger on it. All I know is that whatever is happening is also strangely familiar to me. And when all you knew was darkness and despair growing up, that warm, fuzzy feeling of familiarity is not just a warning sign, but an alarm bell. I know what you mean. Danger is something I am a little too comfortable with myself. Reminds me of my mother. There is almost a comfort in it. Yes, you understand. Not many Faith. can. I'd like to be left to my thoughts now, Hunter. I still have a lot of thinking to do. While I try to make sense of what I felt at the docks and the energetic shifts that ripple through Limbo, I will let you know if I do. Alright, I check. So yeah, I, again, I, I don't know if it's just the character thing, or like they were like, okay, we need somebody to... Um, uh, a few heroes are available to hang out with the hunter in the common room. Engage in the hangout to grow the hunter's friendship with a hero of your choice. Um, or whether it was hey, more the fact just, that... You look pretty fresh. You know, they just kind of... I, I don't know. I just... I like... Her character, but also the way her character adds to the mechanics. Yo, uh, I really like it. Over. The hell ride isn't exactly um, simple. let's work out. With Blade. That's a lot of weight. <laughs> yeah, that's... Wow, okay. Does the night sky seem darker than usual? I had not noticed. Why do you ask? It's just off somehow. I swear the moonlight on a clear evening is too dim for this time of year. Same with the torches outside the abbey. <laughs> Could we ask someone about this? Maybe Nico or Strange. Maybe. As long as it's not in my head. If we're both saying it this time next week, let's bring it up to them. Sounds All right. What do you think it means? My concern, as always, is vampires. Darker nights give them opportunity, mobility, and more chances to feed. That yeah. is disturbing. That's the world I know. We should... All right. Uh, guys, I'm just going to say this. If this stream goes well, I'm going to buy another DLC character. And by well, I mean, like, everything. Like, interactions, likes, um, not necessarily subs, because you guys have been kicking ass with that recently. But, um... Yeah. I'm glad to see you're getting comfortable with the words of power, Hunter. If you're going to continue our little investigation of the Abbey, they'll be vital to your success. Investigation? A side project, but a potentially transformative one. With my blessing, Wanda was working to uncover what may be the most powerful just what in the hell do you think you're doing in here? Standing in the library? I've given you free reign so you could get back on your feet. But I never thought you'd pull something like this. I... What is it you think I am doing, exactly? Don't be coy. It does not suit you. I told you how hard it's been since we lost Agatha. Instead of letting it rest, you decide to... 
reopen the wound? Oh, Sarah. I would never... I never thought of this place like that. Of course you didn't. And now, it's done. Why should I ever stand in your way? Like, I get Caretaker's been through some shit and seen some shit, but that fucking anger hell. wasn't meant for you, dear. You know that, right? Don't hold it against Sarah. She may try to mask her feelings, but you know she is struggling with what happened. Why are you hiding from her? For most people, the captivating relationships of their lives are formed over a matter of days and years. Sarah and I spent centuries together exploring this world, fighting the darkness, watching cities and even nations form and then crumble. And yet we persevered together. You still have not answered my question. It may be difficult to understand, but she needs this time. Sending Wanda away, sealing the library, that elaborate memorial she conjured up. She didn't waste any time trying to bury what happened. You are right. I do not understand. I it isn't up to me to reveal myself. Anyway. It's up to her to <clears throat> accept what happened and allow herself to grieve. When that happens, we'll see each other again, but not before. I trust you will do what is right for Sarah. So, what is it you are looking at here? Yes, we should get back to the real reason I asked you to meet me here. Wanda's journal. The Abbey Grounds have a great deal of history. <coughs> Many of its secrets remain hidden, even after all this time. Even to you? Even to me. Wanda had taken to exploring the grounds in search of a strange energy we both sensed. Knowing that Sarah had no intention of waking you to investigate, Wanda felt it was up to her to take your place. Of course, being the clever girl that she is, her notes are written in an ancient, transient cipher that I've only just begun to understand. Have a look at the first entry. Um... But yeah, so if, if this stream does really well, um, I'll get another DLC character, guys, uh, when I get paid. Um... And ju just for clarification, that won't come out of Patreon. That will just be me getting it. Um, remember, I've already got one. And you guys will learn who that is when the time comes. So, alright. Let's, uh, let's read the book. Uh, I have to restore what I've taken from the altar. The damage I've done can only be reversed when all the elemental rods have been returned. I'm sure it still seems a bit cryptic, but Wanda was definitely on to something. If you remember my altar, that's where she was conducting her experiments. An investigation that involves experiments. <laughs> Why do I feel like you were going to get me into trouble? <laughs> Since when has that ever stopped you? Let's meet out at the altar. I'll try to do a better job of explaining from there. Charlie will show you the way if you've forgotten. Uh, okay. But yeah, so... Uh, oh, we can just... Oh no, we can't open it. Damn it. Okay. All right. Uh, go over here. I believe the. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Ah! Uh. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh. Alright. The goddess of order approves. Yes, yes indeed. Like most things on the grounds here, there's more to this place than meets the eye. Do you remember the words I taught you as a child? Are you going to make me say it? 
Humor an old dead woman. <sighs> Hocus pocus. <laughs> oh, I love that. I love that so much. Oh, you haven't lost your touch, dear. The words may be simple, but these plinths won't appear for just anyone. Each represents one of the basic elements, their power activated only by the elemental rods they would normally be holding. And where are the elemental rods now? Scattered to the wind, unfortunately. A side effect of Wanda's experiments here. Let me guess. That's right. I want you to find the missing rods and return them here. Hopefully, as I decipher Wanda's journal, her notes will aid in the search. But you have not actually told me what the greater purpose is here. What are we doing this for? All in good time, dear. After what happened with Wanda, I'd rather you take things slowly. In fact, I don't want you overthinking this little project. There's no rush and you don't have to help if you don't feel like it. But there is one more thing before I head back to the library. An arcane key? Just a little something. A token for your efforts so far. The key can be used to open that chest nearby. Like so many other oddities around here, those chests tend to appear before those who deserve them most. Make yourself that person. That seems intentionally vague. <laughs> it's more fun that way, isn't it? I'll be in the library working on the translations if you need me, dear. Good luck. <clears throat> I love her character. Um, you collected the arcane key. Arcane keys can open the arcane chest scattered around the abbey and its grounds. So that's uh, essentially the like the chest that I kind of went up to but couldn't open. Um, exploring the abbey grounds from this point on, it's optional. It can be done at any time with uh, without regard to the main story. When you are ready, return to the quarters and go to sleep. Each night, start the next day. Um, the Shadow Trail. There are numerous heathen locations on the Ground Abbey. Once discovered, a heathen can be used for a special daytime hangout with a hero where the friendship rewards are increased. Uh, okay, cool. Um, kill, kill, kill. Um, now, I may spend uh, a bit of time trying to do a bit more side stuff but also I'm not gonna like bog the streams down with it so uh, as I said it won't be 100% but yeah look for arcane chests on the abbey grounds and unlock them with arcane keys arcane chests rest uh, periodically so return to previously open chest so basically find keys and every now and then they'll um re uh restart essentially they'll they'll reappear um so blessings of the goddess all right let's uh see what's over here Ooh, elemental rod <coughs> take this back to the altar um okay um, can we open this one? I there don't think we can small. open. No. Can't she open it, yeah. it Oh, sorry. Press wrong button. Um, and yeah, we can't open any more around here, it looks like. Alright. So, let's go back to the altar. Um, uh, place item. Uh, rod. Magic still holds. All right, there we go. Um, and obviously, we don't have any uh, for that one. Um, 
Okay, so let's... Uh, yeah. Let's uh, head back... Oh, no. Going the wrong way. Ah! <sighs> okay. Um... Uh, vessel created by witches to honor the innocent. Um, arcane knowledge, plus 25 bonus resources from pickups. Nice. Uh, Vodden says increase their arcane level. Uh, successfully using words of power, exploring the abbey grounds, and even petting Charlie will grant arcane knowledge, which can increase the hunter's arcane level. At higher arcane levels, the hunter will gain increasingly powerful rewards from the abbey grounds and arcane chests. So yeah, that, that's essentially how you power it up. Um, essentially. Um... So that's pretty cool. Now, if I remember correctly, yep, yeah. is one of the elemental rods. So um, we'll return uh, this one if I my sense of direction IRL is terrible, and it's also terrible in games because that's just the way it works, guys. Um, so um, what was Wanda up to here? So there we go. Uh, so now fire and earth. No idea where they are. No idea if I'll actually do it. But uh, there's two of them at least. So yep. Um. So. That will be for Hangouts, which is really cool. Um, let's uh, carry on our merry way. Uh, I don't want to get lost here. Okay, no, we're good. Um, and it is getting late, and I do want to get another mission done uh, before I wrap uh, the stream up at least. Um, so, uh, okay, that's something else, um, uh, you've collected a masterwork in addition to the paintings, okay. Um, and again, I'm just kind of exploring more, mainly uh, for you guys, so then you guys can see more of the game, because usually I'd just be jumping from mission to mission and story to story, because uh, I, I just really love the story, honestly. Um, so, but uh, I'll, I'll do a, a bit more uh, exploring. I just also don't want to bog down the the live streams, um, so the, the, there is kind of that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna call it a, a day with exploring at least. Um, and uh, yep, we'll open this up. Ooh, nice. Okay. Um, uh, ah, I see. Okay. Uh, strength. Uh, electric energy erupts around four as he wields Muno. Uh, this card represents great courage and taking control of one's destiny. Uh, cool. Uh, okay, so let's, uh, go to our, wait, uh, oh, we gotta, oh, okay, my bad, guys, my bad. Uh, where is she? She's in the library, okay. Uh, 
select a hero, don't discard the next played hero card. Okay. I see you found one of the elemental rods. Well, two. If you'd actually. like to keep going, you may keep searching for more. Need something, dear? Um you said something earlier about the blood. In a world full of mysteries, the blood have managed to remain even more mysterious than most. They were an ancient race, said to be born of the Elder Gods. As I understand it, they were very strict about maintaining their bloodline. That's probably why you don't hear about them very often. And yet, here you are, one of their direct descendants. Are there others? It's quite possible. But even if there are, they might not even know it themselves. Somehow, I take comfort in that. Mm. What they do not know cannot hurt them. Indeed. Alright guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm just going to go to the toilet very, very quickly. And then, yeah, we'll carry on. Okay, guys, I am back. Sorry about that. After our last battle, what happened to Lilith? You were in the woods. You and your mother obviously came to blows. But we found no wounds, no evidence of what happened at all. A silent, deathly embrace between mother and child. We had hoped you would both find peace in the next life. But she is not buried here. No. We entrusted her to the Knights of Wondergore, the ancient protectors of your ancestral homeland in Transia. I don't think they ever expected to contend with an organization like Hydra, and I doubt Lilith spared any who survived her reawakening. Um, what do you know about the Moon Seals? Presumably forged by the gods themselves, I like to think of a Moon Seal as both a lock and a key. With the right power, wielded by the right person, the energy of the seal is unleashed, creating a conduit to the Elder Gods. And I am that right person. Just another benefit of being descended from the blood. Lucky you, dear. What would Wanda want with your altar? What can I say? Some people have a curious, adventurous itch that just has to be scratched. I was one of them, and so was Wanda. Caretaker, not so much, but I see it again in you, Hunter. So you encouraged her exploration? Of course. Why wouldn't I? What good is being as powerful as we are if we're just going to spend all our time cooped up within these walls? Yeah, true. What's the worst that could happen? Uh... <laughs> you got me there, dear. Where did the words of power come from? While I often call them blessings or gifts of the old gods, the words of power are actually powerful invocations tuned to the unique energies found in descendants of the blood. 
And caretaker used the words as well. Of course, dear. Sarah used the words of power on the Abbey grounds just as you do today. Many of the areas you encounter that seem receptive to these spells are actually the result of Sarah's frequent undertakings. Okay. Um, I do want to just test summon a second. Because... Because hmm. fire... Interesting. No. Okay, I thought maybe the, the Rod of Fire would have something to do with the furnace, but... Oh, no, that's not what I meant to fit it. Um, anyway... <laughs> sorry, everyone. Sorry. Sorry. Um, alright. Let's, uh, let's, uh, go to bed. After all these years, it is good to see your face again. Wish I could say the same, Mother. Now enough with this deception and reveal your true form. But this is my true form. The way I was when you were just a sweet, helpless little baby. You don't remember that, do you? Well, I do. Bringing you into the world was the happiest time in my life. And taking you out of this world again will be mine. I had thought the words of power would open your eyes. But I should have known my sister and her pet witch would continue to withhold the truth from you. And what truth is that? The truth they are keeping from you. You need only. Wait! Mother! Where did you... <sighs> Those scenes are a bit weird for me. Um, I love them. Is that really her? But also, this, yeah. Um... Hmm. So, now we can unlock different colours um, to our uh, battle outfits. And it, this is where we can uh, change the actual, like, what we actually go into uh, with uh, battle. So, yeah. Uh, which is pretty cool. Um, Alright. Um, so, um, I have a way that I like uh, to do this. So, I'm going to show you guys that now. Um, and it's just a rhythm that I, I've gotten into. Um, Considering the risk he put himself into a... Uh, okay, so, yep, we've now uh, done that, which is awesome. Um, right. Um, sure. Uh, forge upgrade. Uh, we are finally yeah. getting some decent tech down here. How's it going, boss? Uh, not bad, not bad. Sir. What do you think? So now, uh, Hunter's abilities can be from one of the three branches, light, dark, or power, um, designated by the bland, uh, balance symbol presented on the card. 
playing more light or dark abilities in combat will punish Hunter's overall balance towards that alignment. Again, I think that's new. Another magical mystery box. But I could I be... I used to design sentient future tech. Hmm. Um... I'm gonna pick that. Uh, and I'm gonna pick that. Yeah. Until next time. You've gained a new combat ability for a hero. Open the hero screen to equip this new ability. Okay, so abilities can be equipped or swapped with the cards already in a hero's combat deck. Any unused abilities can be salvaged for essence, which is required for upgrade items and more. Okay, uh, and we can also uh, choose the uh, costume as well, which is pretty damn cool. Um, I'm gonna put that on uh, for Carol. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Um, uh, honestly, we can we can just do upgrades with that. So uh, let's go to the uh, training. Yep. If you uh, can beat Carol in the straight, time to take it to the next level. Because why won't we? Daily sparring. Um, I'm gonna pick Nick Nico. I can't help it, guys. Okay. Ooh, now I see what I'll. Uh, Midnight Sun's training level has increased. Every training level increase grants a large boost to environment or attacks in combat. Continue upgrading abilities and sparring daily to earn more training XP and further increase the Abbey training level. Again, I. it seems like they've added new stuff, but I'm not too sure. Uh, hey, can I ask a favor? Uh, the life of a superhero is complicated, and sometimes they could use your advice. Other times, they might ask for uh, for uh, ask you for favors. Sorry, help heroes with their problems to receive new rewards. Uh, okay, uh, Tony Stark takes a break from his training and gives you a quick assignment to as you approach. You're clearly the expert in demon hunting around here. What's your opinion on how we should train? Um, uh, I'm going to go with that. Okay, and it doesn't look like you got her ready either. to work. So, which is really good. Um, might as well get that. Do you you can see how stuff can snowball either like, uh, easily as well. Like it can really snowball. Um, so. Hey Hunter, you... when you've got a minute, could you meet me in the war room? Yeah. Alright, uh, right, what have we got? Oh, it's just war room stuff. Okay, cool. Um. There you are, Hunter. Alright. The intel cache we recovered from Hydra's gunship might seem sophisticated to the casual bystander, but they probably weren't expecting to go up against the likes of me. With Central's help, I can decrypt these babies in no time, providing us a valuable and fascinating glimpse into Hydra's twisted little minds. Uh, 
Uh, okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Sarah wants to talk. Uh. I feel like we left things unfinished, Hunter. If you're free, I'd like to talk. Yeah. Well, All don't right. leave me in suspense. How are you enjoying the library? I thought we were past that. We are, but I'm still allowed to be annoyed with you. I expect a bit of pushback from the others, but not from you, Hunter. Why not? When have I ever made things easy for you? You had your moments, few and far between, but that's exactly my point. You know what that place, what she meant to me, and you did it anyway. Um... If I had known it meant this much to you, I would have waited. It was not my intention to defy or hurt you. Hurt, no. Defy, maybe. At the same time, I know I haven't been very open with you about everything that's happened. At least we are talking now. Silence between us would only make things worse. You're right about that. We have bigger things to worry about. Like the mouthy alien tormenting Spider-Man as we speak. He did risk himself for us without hesitation. We owe him for that, at least. For once, I think the entire team is in agreement. It's only a matter of tracking Venom down. I would just follow the trail of destruction, but maybe there is another way. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Don't leave poor Spider-Man waiting too long now. Uh. Oh. Uh, We've got a situation wait. rapidly developing. I'll be in uh. contact soon, Hunter. What's new, Hunter? Uh, Captain Marvel can decipher Hydra's uh, intel caches at a central workstation, revealing ops that individual heroes can undertake to gain rewards. Okay. Beginning decryption sequence. This intel is hot, Hunter. We shouldn't sit on it for long. Now that we've decrypted the intel, let's put what we've learned to good use. Check out the available hero ops listed on Central. Hero ops grant powerful heroes uh, specific uh, rewards. Heroes assigned to an op will be unavailable for combat missions until the following day when the op completes. So essentially, these are that. bonuses that you don't actually do, where essentially they go on missions, um, and it just does it all automatically. Uh, the Abbey is now yours to explore. Check your objectives and the map to see uh, what is available, and look around to see if any heroes could use a hand. Missions are waiting on the mirror table when you are nearby. If you would like to review any tutorials, they are always available from the settings menu. So, yeah, essentially, we, we've now done... Well, eh, eh, kind, eh, mm, kind of, we've done What's shaking? everything. Hunter, my second favorite zombie superhero. I... Who is your first? Tony, on two hours of sleep. It... So... What do you need? Uh, yeah. I have questions for you. Sure, ask away. Tell me about yourself, Carol. What in particular? Um, how did Carol Danvers become Captain Marvel? During my time with the space program, I found myself involved in a conflict between alien species, Kree and Skrulls. I got too close to a device called the Psyche Magnetron, and it completely altered me. A Kree soldier known as Marvell felt responsible for what happened and took me under his wing. He was a hero in his own right, and we fought beside each other for years. He's gone now, but I took the name Captain Marvel as a tribute to what he stood for. Since then, I've made the name my own. Um, yep. Who were you before you became Captain Marvel? Air Force pilot. 
I used to fly the unfriendly skies before I was attached to the space program. And back then, I was entirely human. You are not entirely human? Not since I uncovered actual, for real aliens. There was an accident with some alien tech that rewrote my DNA, and now I'm half Kree. I have never heard of the Kree. Neither had I. They have a space empire. It's crazy to think they've been around far longer than you've been alive. I really hope this game's get a si the game gets a sequel. Oh my god, I'm tired. Sorry, guys. Um, and I really hope this becomes the new Ultimate Alliance. I understand people may not necessarily under uh, like the card system, but I'm loving it. Your strength is hard for me to fathom. With all this gamma weirdness keeping Banner in Banner form, I'm Earth's mightiest Avenger. <laughs> Once Thor realized the Hulk was in a class of his own, he was not happy to be in third place. He uh, still uh, challenges me to arm wrestling contests, and loses. He's much less salty since I started calling him Asgard's mightiest Avenger. How powerful would you say you are? Hmm... When someone says we need to call in the big guns, they're talking about me. Just don't say it in front of Bruce. The Hulk is an order of magnitude stronger, no question. But he doesn't have my precision, patience, or reliability. At least, that's how Bruce put it. That much power. And it does not seem to have gone to your head. I do get cocky sometimes, but I don't take any of this for granted. And I always remember where I came from. Arrogance is like punching the afterburner with your wheels down. Hmm. Tell me about the Avengers. Sure. What about us? Uh -huh. How long have you been an Avenger? Over a decade. Still hard to believe. We've been so busy dealing with one crisis or another, it's hard to mark the time. My coffee tally puts me just shy of 20,000, excluding the cups I forgot to track. <laughs> what are your thoughts on your fellow Avengers? I'm with the team for a reason. I believe in what we do. All of us do. I'm sure you've noticed Tony can be abrasive, but I never doubt his commitment. Yeah. <laughs> he and Banner used to fight like cats in a sack. Thankfully, they seem to be past that. And I can't think of anyone better to deal with a mystical enemy than Doctor Strange. He's a little out of sorts right now, what with being pushed out of his home, but he'll adjust. Do you think your team can find common ground with the Midnight Suns? Look, I try not to get involved in team politics. I'll work with anyone who gets the job done. I don't care what team they're from. Do mm. all the Avengers feel the same? No comment. <laughs> Thank okay. you, Carol. Anytime. And hey, if you find the time, we should hang out. I will consider that. Of course. Okay. Um. Oh my god, this stream's been long. Um. Uh. Uh, unlike story missions, general missions are led by heroes other than the Hunter. The Hunter can be brought on these missions, but they are not required. General missions can be pursued at any time. A new story mission has been added to the mirror table. This mission can be uh, pursued at any time to advance the story. Right, so this is honestly where the grinding comes in. Uh, because we're not doing that yet, and actually, I'd rather get the Gamma Coil and Artifact. Um, this mission has a hero challenge available. If purchased with Intel, an optional objective with bonus rewards will be activated for the combat mission. Uh, no, I, I'm just, I'm just gonna go into that, but it, it is something to keep in mind. Um, and now I'm gonna show Nico off. I love her. I love her character. I love the dialogue. I love her cards. 
Uh, Nico's definitely my favourite uh, character in this game. Okay, uh, enemy reinforcements will grow stronger each turn. Move quickly. Hydra is still intent on detonating these rift charges. Okay. <sighs> Consequences be damned. So, this is actually a difficult one. With her unpredictable staff of one, many of Nico's abilities may have random effects. These effects are determined when the ability card is drawn and are indicated by the roulette keyword. Um, many Doctor Strange uh, abilities become enhanced with bonus damage or effects while you have a certain amount of heroism. Hero uh, heroic abilities will also automatically increase and decrease the heroism cost based on the current heroism amount. Oh my, that is a, wow. Play them for base cost when, yeah, okay. Holy shit, that was a lot. Okay, uh, Jesus Christ. You have an equipped combat item. Uh, Don't focus on destroying the charges. Hydra has enough warm bodies to overwhelm you eventually. Okay, I didn't realize you did, Supreme. to be honest. Um... All right. Um. Uh. Actually. Yes. There was a time when Lilith had the highest of standards for me. That time has clearly passed. Okay. Um. Yes. A moment. This should aid me in my fight. Right. Um. Um. You're only sixteen. Okay. Um. All right. Here's. I'm just gonna make sure of something. Yeah, that will actually take you out. Okay. Um. Here we go. I think Lilith is holding out on you. Maybe and you should ask about some new power. That guy is now weak, which is awesome. Um Okay. Um Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to spend a lot of power here. Um cuz there, there's a lot of minions here. Um, yeah, do that. Um, no, that's not gonna reach you. Um, yes. You, wa you wanna get rid of those shield guys as quickly as you can. Or at least get rid of the shields. Um... I'm gonna redraw that. Alright. No we'll have to do Ooh. better than that. Oh! Okay, that 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 hurt. Not even gonna pretend like it didn't, but we're good, we're good. Okay, um... Okay, um... Okay, um... 
Okay. Um. We may be in trouble here. Yeah. Um. Sorry, guys. Um... Yeah, I think we're in real trouble, actually. As a child, I feared the servants of Lilith. Now I teach them to fear me. Um... Yeah. This usually works. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this mission done in time. Um, to be honest. Now that was something. Um. Uh, yeah, crap. Never surrender. Um. We may fail our first mission here, and that's fine. I hope not, but they seem insistent on attacking me. <laughs> They're not quite ready to oh give up. Oh my god, just there's yet. so many minions! We're in trouble. We're in trouble. Yeah, we're we're You're oh wasting my your time, but god. whatever. Um Um Watch and learn. The light shines on the most dutiful. Um Let me get rid of that. That's one charge down. Not out of the woods yet. No. Just like old times. We're really not. Actually, we're we're in trouble. I'm just gonna call it how it is. Um. No mercy for the servants of Lilith. That's the spirit. Um... Maybe not... Uh, yeah, th this is difficult. I bet your Hydra recruiter didn't mention any of this, huh? Um... No, probably not. Um... Yeah. This won't end well. Yeah, we're we're in we're in trouble. That's that's a lot of minions, guys. Um control of the situation. No well yeah, yeah you are actually. Yeah. All I can hope now is that they keep self-destructing their guys, uh, to be honest. Um, that would be the best situation, but... Jesus. At least it killed one of their guys, I mean... I can't really be mad at that. Um... I can kind of get mad at that. You though. guys can all share one funeral. Um. Oh Jesus. Okay. Um. Uh. 
that's not gonna finish him off. Um. See, th this is the problem now. Um. But what's that gonna achieve, though? Um. The light's gift. Let us see if okay, can now. You, ah, no, we need to kill that. But then that's gonna lead them in a really bad situation, because then he's gonna go kaboom. Ah! This is terrible. You've Absolutely terrible. Lilith, and it may very well cost you your life. Um. Another Hydra operation foiled. Oh, wait. Hearing that. Okay, we're actually done. Okay, thank god. Oh! Wow. Okay, that was... Yeah. I... Wow. Okay. That was... Oh, boy. That was... Oh, Jesus. That was tough. That was really tough, actually. Okay. Oh, boy. Um... Um, different heroes meet, uh, every few nights for... Okay. Um, right. Well, I'm gonna do my normal routine now, um, that you guys will see as the game goes on. Um. Curious. Um, okay, so... Oh, we can. Oh, yeah, because we gotta wait till. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's that's my bad. Oh, Blade sent a private message. Um. Been watching the way you handle yourself out there, Hunter. You're not bad. I was thinking maybe it's time you and I compare moves. Moves, as in combat. More like a friendly competition. A friendly competition, you say? Well, recently resurrected teammate competition has less of a ring to it. <laughs> the feeling is mutual, Blade. Yeah. How about we just fight already? Before we begin, is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Now, you want to say it or me? Say what? Ding, ding. Awesome. Hunter has received their friendship level. Uh, sorry. Hunter has increased their friendship level with a hero. Reaching new friendship levels will unlock powerful gameplay rewards for that hero. Friendship levels will also grant new cosmetic uh, rewards that can change the appearance of the hero in combat. Okay. Um, we learn more with each encounter, Hunter. Mm. Is the forge treating you well, Doctor? It is, all things considered. The scent of Hellfire is slightly less obnoxious than Tony. <laughs> oh, uh, Miss Minoru wishes to speak with you. She requested you do so tonight. What about? A great mystery and a greater opportunity. You should seek her out. Alright, don't, don't worry, Strange. What? Any idea why Nico wants to speak with me? My ideas are manifold. Only she can answer your question. Before the night ends, of course. Why must you always speak in red riddles? Like, I wonder, like... I do wonder, like, why they chose... Not, not just with Doctor Strange, but, like, just the way they created, you know, obviously, originally, these comic book characters. Like, how did they... Yeah, I, oh, I it's amazing to me. Absolutely Sanctum amazing. And uh, our recent uh, battle. There we go. Right. Uh, da, da, da. Boop. Uh, uh, oh, my 
magic wants to talk. Okay. Anything going on today? Yes, Nico wants to speak with you. Do so before you sleep. Can you tell me what this is about? No. <laughs> Can you give me a hint about what Nico wants? No. Talk with her tonight, yes? It is important to her. Alright, alright, alright. I love Nico, guys. I'm just saying it. She's amazing. Hunter, I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. <laughs> Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Uh, yeah, lead the way. Let's do it! Alright, let's do it. So, about the spell that brought you back to life, uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some gaps. You are talking about my death. Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. It is very late for me, guys, so I am going to go for the abridged version. Yes. How does this ritual work? This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, Strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting, and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode. A very small chance. Unlikely. How concerned should I be about exploding? <laughs> Slightly more than usual. I... D uh, what? I... Uh... That is all I need to know. I, yeah, I, tell Nico, and don't explode. I, I, yeah, I feel like I should be more... Okay. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will wow. this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. <sighs> all right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you see. I raced through the Abbey grounds. Angry. Terrified. It is too late. We were not ready. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot! No! No exploding, then. Oh, Yay! We, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. <sighs> well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? <laughs> Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment, or 
you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later. Ooh. Oh, nice. We we just get these. Uh. Oh, we got. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. Um. I'm gonna go with witch fire. Can't stop me. I did it. Okay. Um. Right, I am, uh, oh boy, yeah, th this was a, a large stream for me tonight, um, and I've loved it, but holy shit, this was a large stream, um, uh, we've been streaming for, uh, about four and a half hours, um, and it's getting late for me. Um, so I am going to edit that. I'm gonna add witch fire. I like witch fire. I'm gonna keep that on. Um. Eh. Yeah. I'll put I'll put that on there for now. Um. Put that up. Um, customization. Nah. Okay. Uh, right, guys. Um, we're gonna sleep. Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna save up, because I have not saved up till, oh my god, I haven't saved. Oh, huh, <laughs> okay, um, so, I'm gonna, yeah, um, just double check that, okay, cool, right, um, uh, super link. Do we have any? Um. Okay, that's cool. Oh, so we can just do it from here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Um, but um, yeah, guys, I'm gonna wrap it up here. Um. As I said, this has been a long stream for me. Uh, if this stream does really, really well, and I mean like really, really well, I will purchase another DLC. Um, like a character. I already have one of them, and you guys will have to wait and see to find out who that is. I don't want to spoil that for you guys. But if this stream does really well, then um, I'll get another one. 
Um, so uh, in likes, uh, share it out for views and stuff uh subscriptions you guys have been doing amazing so thank you so much for that but you know more helps obviously um and then if not fair enough you guys will at least get one of the dlcs um in terms of the characters um and i will be picking the dlc guys uh so it may not be the one you want i get that but um, I will be uh, the one picking. So, um, if you want two DLC characters, then uh, share the stream out. Give it lots and lots of love. You guys know what you're doing on YouTube. I don't need to tell you. But, um, yeah, thank you so much, guys. I am absolutely knackered, but I've loved playing this game. Uh, every Monday, 6 p.m. UK time, we shall be playing this game. I'm going to get the hell out of here, and I'll catch you guys whenever the next video or stream is. Bye-bye for now. Excelsior. Damn, I've been wanting to say that all stream. Thank you so much, guys.